principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. With table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak the fact and move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. No, but I, I, I also said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the word next. Yeah, to the I answer. don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. I'm not my bra. Today you are denying funny face. It's, it's not my bra. Today I deny funny face. I don't know who. You, you don't know funny face. It's not my brother. It's not funny face. Name a man on camera. It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Huabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. Starting my uh, distance education, mommy, uh, motor first. So I come to me to a lecture, uh, lecture is no more work class. But my mom is more to me. I call a class no. Me young lady. God will bless crime check for coming to my rescue because it has impacted my life very well. So I come to me to a baby, I'm a person. I'm now an able person. I'm a person. 
se opese uhu crime check foundation ye njume dia ye di abreni abreni na kwa ye youtube channel crime check tv gh subscribe mame se u subscribe ya mi adoma nefu se na video bia edi betu ubiya ubehu medamase so today i'm on a plot of land not just a plot a 40 acre plot of land around Oibi Old Sasabi. It's between um, Ubuntu Heaven and Apollonia City of Light. You hear the names? Okay, so this particular property has a good road, there's water, there's um, light. People have already bought this and they are putting up their structures. If you can see, so just call the numbers and get yours. Be your own landlord. It's about time. Stay tuned. Okay, so we just passed um, Car Junction. Uh, we are still going around the plot as you can see to my left that is a uh, open to heaven some have already got in their plots and then have their buildings on going uh, there's light there's water as well you wouldn't have problem with land mitigation and land guards and all that as you can see there are no land guards around there's a good place to invest if you need a plot of land or you can even buy two, three, four and put up some businesses. First clinic is say a bus siatica siatica no one every who see simu konoa or two a se hono in trina fau srim eko si wuna se hono e bube timi to two a ma uanka sa wujum ube be enye enti twenty first clinic woman na yes siatica espet e wagana ha woman dia bibi dro so we be drunk kasa and the best song yeah don't know the machine I come home yeah dear be drunk account near side what to machine so yeah sign your massage be a real herbal treatment yeah they are one one man and yes yeah take her 21st clinic they expect I will to us here gonna have a be our moho and cry dummy market or heavy do dining moho and a kumasin so here who do session so when you need job so or more ho so you need when she need baby and cranza for zero five four zero three one one three one one zero Five four zero three one one three one one. Next, a twenty first clinic. One more is Yatica Espet. Let's hear from the money now. Say, yes, I am on Champion Crime Check Foundation. I hear you made the attorney doing a charity series. Now, a bear bosom in Sia. A muho and I, a dear Sandy Beto, my name, a free double ya, a what northern region, a year near by a beer. A Ubrinibe can so physically challenge a whole day in any name. Then so I'm Paba, or so bedo a fool. I'm a yenue, Yacosrano. As I say, my make a bocoy cheat, na Yacofaca crebi de abremo. Disability is not inability. Me ye disabled and yes, uh meet me ye be bea me dasu ye nipa. Be a uh able person bet me a ye no. Me so disabled, me so bet me a yes had ye no. Me cost qua drew a DBS no me to not fear no. Let me see. Sa me to not fear na me ye be piano and come me uh call into farmia. A bab wo uh yen na and see na ma study uh Fam, you see, I am and Sam, and we are mutiny who say, A ten year, a mra, a dinner, how better to journal, any pebby account, who cacra. You never know, so here, tricycle. A rapier, Ramchil Foundation for a new sea, one five motorway in the drill. That Obia, Obia, Obamicha, best supporting me. Anya by Rama, meet that woman in the Yamabe Shraum, Yamabe Ma or Mosso. As if for Maria Yawati, Sayawana Yamati, as if for now be a name that you say. Now, before say a book called Dabu Yahono, and a black lens ventures, or more Casabim, or more say, and how. And Cassie a Jumani ho a Jumaho Hopa Bisya camera and editing. Omo teacher foa omwa quadrimu omo betro camera said a handle camera a ye editing said a bea uya a jumani hono who entertain is a totu nibium ubinya jumaye 
a juma ebu oh knowledge and skill in camera handling and editing and a gana ha a com and the water once a bra na no more emidi in como won be boaw no mu wie kra na wa ma training no asan boaw a kire o adwuma mu ekwan any black lens ventures en kasa etie fo ye kwan check foundation ye adwe black lens de black lens man tete ye e wo camera handling any video editing and sa e se fu fu yi bi e ye adwuma e ma kwan check foundation any baby 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 na wo hu se se de om si handle camera na om ye video editing na wo hu se black lens media or much rare at the end. Ain't it count way? Now, so called black lens for office. Now, for form, now, so called for surname, dear. I had a vision to be a musician one day. But now, editing a woman who park as a singer. They will be why you're questioning. I mean, this is this year. I graduated from Tapa de Pole for about ten years now, but me, every man, if you are, will be quack or crack me, so we'll be quack, but if you marry me, we did say, and it's here, yeah, yes, I can. And you're afraid of the barber crumbs, it's here, yeah, quack. Black Lens, and to see a proper fee. Black Lens Ventures, they are the best. Mumayan call Dabuya. Now, you say disability is not inability. Ah, Bruni Kano. Crime Check Foundation at the four Beboa Raffian. Now, Brabas is a Mumayan call here, and it is seven. Yeah, Pa, me di moto no agwa mi form aye di ya so agwa mi pa. Started my distance education. Mama mi moto ni first. So mi ko ambet mi ako na lecture lecturers no mu uo class. Be a mama mi moto ni se si a mi ko class no mi ya late bi. Okay, let me me this kind of improving me this work. That's no my know this no me name this kind of me bet me up a call for to this no. As I can be we say me share this paboa. So a boy me pa me yes can a boy me me be study a small small. เอ่อวูวูซีวูสตาร์ดิโพลิชิตาคราคาตาสโตนวูฮาเรนติสโตนานาวูเอ่อสโตนิโออบิดิอานาวูดิเอ่อไม่เรนติโนไม่เรนติ
Yebe jina kwa nyawe so na ubia enamine so a ah, ye ni abaye na braba so sa. Yedi nyame nshre mudu ama nipa wate sa ubia uhu ye sister yi. Sewe nye bimpa ama no. Nen so ojwe no huwa jwe mpa no kan se rade. Bwa mena misu minye bimwa nipa wansu eti se yino. Dye ye ka anese ah, nyanko pon nshramo na wanyamo kesie. Ebi ya mwko fwe se kani free ebi ya nyanko pon onye ne moho 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 emfa mamo eh ne enam so enti no yenu abai otime esere eda munyi na ase dase ne nyankopon ma hokwan ya yebesa no mo akasa bi yeda mase ye o sika ye fa mo ati asifo au dia ni ma wie ya wati saya wa na dia ye nya ma ati asifo au bia ni mda ti ase Hello everyone, we are back again, Charlie, and it's good to be here, it's good to be live, it's good to be here. Oh, I'm so, so excited. Welcome to my live stream. Welcome to my live stream. It's been a long, long time. Let's see. Let's see if I'm live. To confirm if I'm live. <laughs> so, yeah. And share the live stream too with my friends. Let's see. Hello everyone, you are welcome. Hello, this is Africa. I like to you. Let me know if my sound and my um camera quality is perfect. Let me know. You are all welcome to my live stream. I would also be grateful if you can tell me where you are watching this live stream from. Um hello, 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 TOZ. Hello, this is Africa. It's good to have you here. Oh, thank you, thank you. So my sound and my camera is good. So guys, I just, I miss you all. I miss coming live on YouTube. I miss coming live on, oh my goodness. I miss you all, I miss you all. And it's been amazing journey so far. Guys, 20,000 of you, over 20,000 of you find my um, content amazing, which is, which means, which means a lot. Okay, Lee, thank you so much. So, yeah. So, let me know which country you are watching my live stream from. I am currently in Ghana and... Oh, okay. Welcome, 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 welcome. If you are now joining the live stream, kindly give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. And Craving Poetry. Hi, Stella, watching from Zimbabwe. It's good to know that um, a lot of people from different countries are watching me here. It feels good. It feels Zimbabwe. I'll add Zimbabwe to my uh, 2021 list. <laughs> so yeah. Hi, Richard. Hi, Kwame Valentine. Hi, Katrine. Watching me from the UK. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Good evening, good evening. Um, from wherever you are. Oh, I can see some Kenyan fans here. Oh, I'm sure you all are from Dimwango. <laughs> it's good to have you all here. Watching me from China. Wow, 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 wow. You're welcome to my live stream. Um, watching me from Dallas, Skate in Focus. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so let me know where you're watching me from. It's good to have you all here. It's been a long time I came on here to, I mean, have a chit chat. And it's 20,000 subscribers, so yeah, celebrate it. We are celebrating. I wish they had that. You see this sound I have the hooray. <laughs> we are celebrating. And I mean, you guys, you guys are, are just amazing. So this video is just going to be a chit chat, um, a catch up. And I know I have um new followers here, and most of them don't really know me because it's all about travel, 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 travel. So if there's anything you also like to 
address or you want us to talk about i mean you can just comment don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yeah hey watching me from jo jordan hello mk hello dennis oh thank you so much for the fans this is africa <laughs> watching me from zimbabwe yeah i have some, oh no not zimbabwe zambia i have some zambia fans <laughs> Feels good. It's good. Yeah, we are going to Zimbabwe. I like it too. Yes, we definitely have to go to Zimbabwe. I want the one of the things I really want to do in Zimbabwe is to see the what's this called again? The Devil's Pool, where people are in the on, on at the tip of the um what's this called? The waterfall and and overlooking this amazing landscape with the water flowing down. It's on my list. My friend, my Zimbabwean friend told me the best time to go is in September. How true is that? Let me know. Let me know how true that is. Hello, Afro Alphabet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, you made it happen. You all made it happen. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up while here. Hello, Richard from Jamaica. Thank you so much, Grace Vlogs. Hello, Epic. We are here too. Yay. Thanks for joining the live stream. Yay. Yes, that's the Victoria Falls. I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm sure if you all know, I am, I am, I am very adventurous and I like adventure. And so countries that usually um, have this beautiful adventures, they don't experience other, um, other, I mean, in your home country, it's actually like nice that when you visit, you try to, um, to, I mean, experience it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. T from London. Oh, T from London. Oh, I know this guy. London, London. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you are joining the live stream, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And so, yeah, guys, what do you think we talk about? I mean, it's been an amazing two years, five months being on YouTube. And guys, I must say the journey has been amazing. You guys, you guys, it's been full of ups and downs, and it's almost summer. And so, um, I mean, as always, there's going to be more amazing content coming up. I am hoping to visit um, some few East African countries soon, and then spread my wings across the globe, try other countries that um, I have planned. You all know that if you don't know or you know, <laughs> Jamaica is one of my dream destinations. I've always been saying it in my videos. And so I can't wait to see Jamaica, but looks like Jamaica is not going to be on the list this year. Next, next, next year, 2022. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you so much, Craven. He says, come to Zimbabwe. You love oh, definitely, definitely. Like, it's been on my list. Like, I see a lot of videos on Instagram. And guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do so. It's Stella Chanelli on YouTube. And if you want to know what I do on the daily basis, I post often on YouTube, on sorry, on Instagram than on YouTube often. So I mean, you know, YouTube is all about travel and lifestyle, people, culture, but Instagram is more of the lifestyle. That's where I deep deep down I share everything. And so if you want to um Follow me on Instagram. The name is the same name, Stella Chanelli on Instagram. And so don't forget to just um, Instagram. Yeah. So follow me. Let's. Um, yeah, so follow me on Instagram with the name below, Stella Chanelli on Instagram. Okay. Epic says you're watching me from your phone. Okay. Which country are you watching me for? Let me know and okay chantel says come let's do a trip together definitely definitely i am coming to jamaica <laughs> hello nappies good to have you here n-a-p-p-i-e guys if you also don't know nappy has a youtube channel can you subscribe to his youtube channel also i like to choose this youtube channel tea with london too on youtube follow them all and they're also being amazing yeah I mean, everyone is doing well and everything. So, guys, let me know what you've been up to. How is the Sunday going? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> did I miss anything? Yeah. So, guys, 
Um, hmm. You guys are not saying anything to me, oh. Apart from the <laughs> uh, you guys should subscribe to his channel to it's Nappy. And so let's talk about let's talk about my first YouTube video. And uh, my first YouTube video, I remember posting my YouTube video. It was more of like fun, 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 fun until until it all started. I mean, um, bringing something good. And since then, it's been amazing. I remember my first YouTube video was in a place called um, Apikiko Beach Resort. Apikiko Resort, actually. It's actually a, 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 a Kosombo. And we had, had a nice time with my friends. And it was good. Guys, if you are joining the live stream, kindly give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for me, kindly drop the questions in the comments. Let me also... Okay, Epic... Epic It Was also has a YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to his YouTube channel. So yeah, if you are just joining me, please give this video a thumbs up and share, 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 share with your friends. So yeah. So that was that. Then what happened? Then um, I mean, people started asking me questions. Like, oh, oh, Stella, where is this place? Where is that place? And I'm like, okay, why not start a YouTube channel to post everything online? And that is how it started and that is how it has been and so i'm sure a lot of you a lot of you know me just for the travel bit but um you don't really know me personally 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 like that so this is a good opportunity if you have any questions you can always ask me job if you have anything you want to for us to talk about yeah yeah um mik jordan yes i already i, I mean i've already started sharing my <laughs> experience hi rosemont she also has a youtube channel kindly subscribe to her youtube channel she, she does tips on how to maintain your hair your face you know and she's a mom so she gives you mommy mommy tips and lady lady tips so you should also subscribe to her channel thank you so much rosemont i'm super 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 grateful yeah so i suggest you do a high school tour in ghana school images Kids in focus that i doubt i will be able to do that because um, i'm not too much concentrated on high school on my youtube i do more of just a travel lifestyle and i mean i'll try i'll try just for you <laughs> just for you i will so rosemont says i fell in love with your personality from the beginning thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i mean this is me if you meet me in town i mean this is me this has always been me there's nothing to fake about and so Thank you. I'm so, I'm so, 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 so great. If you're joining the live stream, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, Shasha says, um, do more of the village life. Guys, let me tell you something. Do you know that I didn't know you guys would like the village um, episode until I did with Jumango? I was like, I was amazed by the views, the comments. That's like, the comments kept coming. Poo, 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 and I was like, wow, 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 wow. So now I feel like anytime I visit anywhere, anytime I visit anywhere, I'll try and do a village of each region. And then probably by the end of the year, put together all the villages that I have done in the course of the year. So I am hoping to do like a whole Ghana tour. Like when you come to Ghana, you want to explore Ghana like back to back. I'm yet to do the only thing I need to do is to visit Cape Three Points, which I'll be doing probably next week or two and then do um what's it called and um, the um going through hippopotamo sanctuary which is located in um um uh, ah guys i've forgotten it's located it's at it's at a northern part of ghana and then also do um i think there's one more left and then the paga those are the only state places i need to be so i can put together like the tourists the the tourists destination places in ghana and so yeah guys i've done well though. you know i have a nine to five job right if you don't know yes i have a nine to five job and i've been able to cover a lot of places in ghana so bubbly stella thank you thank you thank you family by nature says stella congrats you deserve it thank you so much family by nature oh guys the congratulations are i mean you guys congratulations to you too because you made it happen your shares, your comments, your recommendations, your... I'm taking just a second break. You guys, you guys are amazing. So yeah, um, Sadiq says, good evening. Good evening. 
are you a daughter from Atiavi? No, please, I'm not. <laughs> Salah says, I just love you and the work and the work. Keep it up there. Oh, thank you so much. Sadiq said, Good evening, good evening. We love everything you do, just be you. That's all we watch. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I mean that's that's the beauty of it. I just love how you love um any kind of content I put out there. The village was actually the first thing, even though I've been to the village several times, I always don't think about oh, will, will viewers be interested in even watching village stuff? So I was like, and let me give it a shot. D actually brought the idea, and I was like, all right, let me give it a shot. And boom, it happened, and it was it was beautiful. So I feel like now I would also um, be concentrating on the village, in as much as I'm exploring Ghana, and I mean everywhere. Just so you know. I hope to explore more as more countries as possible. And so, I mean, one step at a time, little by little, I'm sure I'll get there. If you are joining the live stream, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. So, okay. So, Family by Nature says, Your channel has really inspired my family. We definitely meet you when we move to Ghana this year. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Family by Nature also has a YouTube channel. Kindly join their family. They are doing amazing. And so, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's 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 amazing you're inspired by everything. I mean, Ghana has its own um, negatives, its own positives. But I mean, we try to um, always live by the positives and then make it work. So I'm glad you find it um, inspiring. SJ Vlogs, congratulations, sis. SJ Vlogs also has a YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's also doing amazing. You say it's, oh, forgotten the song she usually <laughs> She, she, she usually sings so Chinese and say how are you mama africa okay, okay she, she meant to so yeah um so what is your normal day like okay so a normal day for me is um okay let's put it this week a weekday in my life a typical weekday in my life is wake up in the morning by 7 30 i'm done dressing off to work i have a nine to five job i manage a commercial facility so off to work and then and um, my work is not too too stressful they have very busy days where i'm like back to back no 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 free time but they are almost like let's say three three days in a week are mostly free like uh, not as busy as a busy person will call it and so yeah most of the time i use that time to edit videos i use that time to check stuff online i'm always on instagram so guys if you haven't checked out my instagram page it's the same name for lashanelli check it out and follow me Guys, let's give this video a thumbs up. Let's give this video a thumbs up. And so, yeah, that's a normal weekday. So by 4.35, I'm done with work. I come back home and then I rest for the next day. So that's how it's like. Now, I'm entitled to 21 working days in the course of the year. So I try to spread it across such like that if I'm going on leave, it means I'm traveling out of the country or I'm taking a leave to do YouTube content. So I take um, days off as and when. Sometimes I even like, <laughs> which is fine and then um during my 21 working days in the course of the year i mean i will spread it out that i can take a longer and um, trip which i'm about to go and leave and i'll visit some two or three um east african countries before before the year and so yeah that's the plan for this year no not for this year for for this month for two three months to kindly give this video a thumbs up and so Rosman says and um, Mao to go says Stella, many congrats to Madam Celebrate you big. Yay! Mao to go is also on YouTube. Kindly subscribe. He's an Indian. Yeah, yeah, Indian, right? Let me know if I'm wrong. And he's doing amazing in Ghana. I think he relocated to Ghana and he's doing amazing. He's exploring Ghana too, which is equally sweet of you. Yeah. Hi there. Um hi there. Nice. Let's gather here and let's watch a selfie and a cup of wine. Yay! Boss baby, I wish I had a cup of, a cup of wine here. So I don't know. I have a wine here. It's facing me, but I don't have a glass. I have to get to the kitchen, which is a uh, long, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Craving Punchy says, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it. Ibrahim says, um, you are not the only one who wants to explore. Growing up, I wanted to be a bushman, but now... I'm going to be closer. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, the little chance that I usually get, I, I will not slack. 
when somebody says, Stella, let's go somewhere and then I'm free. I mean, now this is the time because I, I would say I don't have a family. When I say I don't have a family, not like I don't have an extended family. I don't have a nuclear family to be restricting myself from not exploring. So I feel like while young, try and travel if you can, if you can afford. Some of the places are not expensive. But Ghanaians sometimes make it feel like, hey, traveling is expensive. In Ghana, it can be, it might not be. It depends on where you're going and, and what exactly what you want to do. So if you don't want to live lavishly and, I mean, you can do budget-friendly places, which is also very fine, at least. Some way, somehow, you have also explored, which is good. Yeah. Courtney says, congratulations, Stella. 50K by New Year's Eve. Yay! I can't wait. I can't wait. Amen. I receive it. I mean, more shares, more um, more uploads, more, more recommending me to your friends, your friends, your friends, your friends. And then we gradually build the, the family, the ladder. Yeah. Watching me from Saudi Arabia. Oh, this is interesting. It's good to have you here. You're welcome. Watching me live from Ghana. Thank you so much. I mean, I'll visit Saudi Arabia one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. Definitely, definitely one day. Yeah. Okay, so um would you do a day in your live vlog like or come to work with me? Oh yes, what's more? I have I actually actually done that before. I am um, during the vlogmas time. I did that. I did like a, um a day, a typical day in my life. But I think I've not done a vlog with me, which I'll consider doing that. Like behind the scenes, what happens behind sometimes it's very funny. Eh? You plan to do like a particular video, you have an itinerary in your head, you're like, oh, I'll go here, I'll go here. And then plans can just change. So usually I try to leave it open because things happen sometimes, something can just go wrong. So I try to leave it open so that if something goes right, then boom, you capture the moment. So I'm sure one day I'll try and do behind the scenes to see what it happens. Sometimes eh, you can bash. That means you, you you make mistakes. Like you 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 you, you your choice of words seems to just get lost. Sometimes you are just caught up in the moment. Sometimes you are just like you don't even know where it's coming from. Yeah. Um, are you also doing a tour guide? Hmm. No, I don't do I don't do I don't do it. I'm not a tour guide and I don't do tour guide, but if it's a private tour and then I'm actually free, yes, why not? I can do it, but it's not something that I've really done. I've only done that once to a friend. A friend recommended somebody who came from South Africa, and I took her for just a day trip to Cape Coast and then back. So we did only Cape Coast. We did the um, Kakum National Park and also the Cape Coast Castle, which she wanted to see, and then that was it. I've done that just once, and so it's not something that it's not it's tiring it's tiring and so i feel like i mean i mean maybe in the future yes yes but once in a while if we we have a connection why not i can do that for you so k you me hi hi k good to have you here said the small queen is here stella do you rent smiles yes i'm renting smiles here yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smiles. Yes, I'm renting smiles. Oh, for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're just joining the live stream. He said, I love you, darling. Let's get Stella to 100k so that she can quit her job. My dear, as if you know. I think you know now because of YouTube. Sometimes when I get to work and I'm so annoying, I'm like, like my, I've, you know, I found my face because, because a girl needs money. A girl needs sometimes people think YouTube, you're earning so much that, oh, like this, like, you know. But the, the reality is, if you want to take certain decisions, you must be very sure that, okay, this decision I'm taking, it means it's getting me good money to sustain. Because I travel, I spend money, and sometimes I get very, very broke. Like right now, I'm broke, so my chalky corner, I, I, I have chalk, because Ghana is hard. I have chalk one corner. So I get money, I'm hitting the road. I'm hoping to get money and hit the road, sharp, 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 because I need, I need content. I really miss traveling. I haven't traveled since the village trip. That's like two weeks, yeah, two weeks. And my body is already itching me because this weekend I've been home the entire time, cooking, 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 and it's been boring. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Katie says, congratulations. You have shown me, Katie, my hometown. Next time I'm in Ghana, it's my place to go. Definitely, definitely. I'm glad it did. You should. Keta is beautiful. So as the Western region, the co in fact, the coastal line of Ghana is beautiful, except for the fact that Accra, is, Accra beaches are a little 
um, dirty and not too i mean it has a lot of people coming in day in day out so the place gets very crowded on <laughs> on um weekends so yeah hello patricia thank you so much patricia also has a youtube channel kindly subscribe what the maya look at her screaming hey, what the maya? What the maya? guys when the maya is on my live stream guys please you know what to do if you're not following what the maya what else are you doing but the maya has been one of the people that has taught me a lot i remember when i met him i used to post guys i used to post once a month i used to post once a month though once a month and then when the maya was like stella Sad yeah, we know you like Charlie. It means that like try and post often now. This one once a month is not helping. So I was like, okay, let me just try it once a week. So I had to challenge myself to post once a week. And what the Maya, what the Maya, you don't know what that thing has done to me so far. Hey, what the Maya is one of those people that even though he's very, very busy, once you text him, even if it takes at least like one week, he will definitely respond to you. Kudos, kisses with the Maya, with the Maya. Thank you. If you are not following with the Maya, please do follow him on YouTube. Laurie Lawson, Laurie Lawson is also a good friend, guys. You all should subscribe to her channel. I've done a lot of videos with Laurie Lawson. Laurie Lawson is an amazing content creator. She also vlogs and um, um, also travels. Lives. She she loves culture, and so when you want to know anything about culture, guys, you know the plug. Go to her YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Um, watching me from Kenya, the mango should invite you to Kenya. Yes, 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 Richie. I am coming to Kenya because I, I realized I've had I've, I've, I've had a lot of people watching me from Kenya lately, and so Kenya is a good spot. I'm definitely coming to Kenya. Let me in two months, three months. Let's see what the Lord does. Let's see money, money. Oh, it's money. You know that's why you have to watch my YouTube videos. That's why you have to dash me money. You understand. <laughs> I'm even shy. Let me close my eye. <laughs> so yeah. I said don't bother. It's all about authenticity and being you. That's why people subscribe and stay on the channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rosemont. That's that's very, 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 very true. I mean, like sometimes you feel like maybe things are on the same level. You want to step up again by doing things that other people do. But at the end of the day, it's it's what you think you can maintain. Imagine copying someone every time and then you have to keep up. It's just like telling a lie. You tell one lie, and the next day you have to keep telling a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie. So if you keep living, you keep living like someone. To get to a time, you can't keep up, and that's when people will know that Charlie, that is not you. You are living somebody else's life. So, yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Say hi, Stella. Nice to see your videos are great. I think Ghana is a nice place. Yes, how Nick? Where are you watching me from? Yes, Ghana is great. Ghana is beautiful. I mean, Ghana has its negative and positive, but obviously the positives outshines the negative so yeah <laughs> so thank you so much yes Ghana is a nice place Dan Darkman congratulations Stella you deserve it thank you so much I'm super super grateful sources um sources TV Ghana congratulations thank you thank you thank you thumbs up guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up while here and I'm so 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 grateful and um okay so watching me from uk big subscriber b van down b van down I, I think i've seen your name somewhere yeah thank you so much thank you thank you congratulations thank you so much hi to brothers and sisters how are you all doing today everyone is doing fine i'm fine how are you it said um the avatar family adventures guys i love this family so much i follow them on instagram i started following them on instagram and they are sweet their family is a beautiful family i remember watching the interview on um vanessa Campbell's channel and yeah sweet such a sweet healthy family guys you know what to do please subscribe to their youtube channel the avatar family adventures subscribe to our youtube channel and guys they are about to post amazing content in fact they have already posted so follow their journey and it's such a beautiful family so definitely sure you would enjoy being there is Ghanaian language same as Nigerian? Well, I, I'm sure I'm sure. Cha 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 cha. Wow, I like the name cha 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 cha. Feels like some, you know, some beat. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm coming to Ghana, I'll contact you. I am also a YouTuber. 
Oh, boss baby, guys, she's also a YouTuber, so kindly check out her YouTube channel. I will check it out after my live stream. Boss baby talk. Let me jot it down so that I don't forget. Thank you so much, Kin. Ken Croc, thank you so much for the fans. Hey, I'm going to bop the cobble. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, what am I? Okay, family by nature. What am I? Is an amazing person. I had the opportunity to have a video chat with him, and he spoke even with my boy. He's very humble, brother, who is impacting life. Oh, yes, yes, I totally agree with you. Anyone who will meet with Amaya for the first time, if you're a YouTuber and you meet with Amaya for the first time, I might say, you would definitely pick one or two things because he always has a way of making you feel like okay even if you're not going the right path he won't say to your face that this is this is it this is it, because he himself is not perfect he will try to at least advise you the little he can so that it can um obviously make it work for you so yeah i totally agree with you family by nature hi sister you look beautiful Ghanaian. wow thank you so much buffalo soldier Buffalo soldier. Ah, I like that song. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. Watching me from Germany. Boto, thank you for joining my live stream. I really, really appreciate it. What time is it in Germany at the moment? You don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too. You are beautiful without the makeup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Medasipa. <laughs> Said congratulations, babes. African goddess. Okay. Is African girl, she joined as she joined my live stream. Big up to her, she's also doing amazing. Anytime I click the super chats, YouTube knocks me. It says, My generation has no money. Oh, Charlie, the journal somehow, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Why, why is super chat doing that to you? Eh, it has to allow you to, you know. <laughs> I'm sure it can be a problem. You can check my description. I also have wave and mobile money, you can send it through my my past description and videos just check my description thank you so much so watching me watching you from london you are you are pros and cons in every country stella including uk usa canada and germany charlie you guys i have a story to share i wanted to come to canada so bad they bounced me the visa they bounced me they bounced me yeah 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 they didn't give me the visa so Canada is out. Hmm? So I'm sure UK very soon I will and USA very soon. I mean it's no rush, step by step. I'm sure by that by the time it's due, yes, I'll be able to visit and Germany. Germany, I mean I really wanted to do Europe last year and so COVID COVID just brought herself like this. I don't know whether COVID is a, a woman or a man. If it's a woman, I'm so not proud of her. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> connie says congratulations congratulations love i really really appreciate it i like the cooking you made i like the cooking you made it's called fufu oh no i didn't cook fufu. i think i cooked the banku banku and oko chanelle you are a great inspiration i started travel content on my channel and you inspired it thank you oh guys okay so jennifer pokwa so much also a youtuber kindly subscribe to her channel yeah, I'll check it out myself after the live. Don't forget to give this video a, um, a thumbs up while here. He said, okay, so in response to what Hart said, he says, Nigerian has over 100 tribal languages. Ghana has different languages too, spoken by different tribes. In both countries, the official language is English. I hope it helps. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that Nidhi is watching this. It's helpful. It's also educating me. I mean, the good part about meeting people online like this is the fact that you get to learn. And there are a lot of things that you know that I don't know. A lot of things I know that you don't know. Sometimes I even make mistakes in my video. I'm like, oh, this tribe is this, this place is this. And people are like, no, that's not the pronunciation of it because we live there. I remember saying in my video the last time, say, this is Keta. And somebody like, no, this is Keta. Or this is Keta. Or this is, you know. So everybody, um, some way, somehow, even if it is English, everybody has a way of of um, actually expressing it based on what it, what it is. So... A good opportunity is we get to learn. Hello, blessed, blessed Harriet. Thank you so much. She is also a YouTuber. Kindly subscribe to her YouTube channel. Is that you look more Nigerian than Ghanaian? Wow, are they are they are they What makes me look like what, what makes me look Nigerian? I'm very curious. I want to know. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, though. Watching me from Canada. Oh, thank you so much, boss, boss baby. I think COVID is a she. 
I'm definitely sure it's a she. You know, she's we the her females. We like to wear it. <laughs> I'm definitely sure. He said, if you want, I wouldn't mind to invite. Hello, Evans. I'll be grateful. Why not? I'll be grateful if I get that invite. They were around. I ran and come. Which country do you mean um, you're going to invite me? He said, Boss Baby says, I love your video with the mango. Oh, I also love it too. It was my first village video and it was good. I mean, I also loved it too. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I said, um, Barbara James says, I subscribed to your channel, the mango sent me a greetings from Jamaica. Greetings from my favorite country. Guys, let me say this again. Jamaica is my dream destination. It's my dream destination. I always say this. I don't know why, but I feel like Ghana and Jamaica has some form of similarities and some form of bond. And I see beautiful beaches. I see beautiful, you know, there's this place that you can just lie on the bamboo on top of the water. Hey, my God. When I see videos on Instagram, then I'm so overwhelmed. I'm like, yo, I have to visit Jamaica. <laughs> and so Jamaica, Jamaica is one of the places that anytime I decide to come to Jamaica, you guys are not ready for me. <laughs> So Evans, which country, which country um are you talking about? And you, you should hit me up on Instagram, Stella Chanel, so we can talk more about it. Because I don't know how I can get your contact from here. So Tina says, I'm watching me live from Vietnam. Yay! Good to have you here. Tina Tom is also a YouTuber. Can you check out her YouTube channel too? It said, Let's meet up when you visit the UK. I also want to visit the yeah, what's more? Definitely, we will. We will. I mean, small, 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 small. Ghanaians and Jamaica look alike and eat alike. Yes, yes, yes. There was this, and um, there is this Jamaican um, restaurant in Ibri. I visited once. It's been long ago. I think I have to go there and vlog because I feel like there are a lot of Jamaicans in Ghana that want to explore places that is more of Jamaican. And even in Coco Bite, there are a lot of um, Jamaican lifestyle. If you go to Coco Bite like this, you see a lot of people with um, dreadlocks. And if you don't know, I really like hair. I like I like guys who braid. Like I, I admire it. It's not like I just like it. I just like it. Yeah, I just like it. I like I just like. I'm sure definitely my future kids will all have dreadlocks because I really like it. And so you see a lot of them with the dreadlocks. And when you speak to them, you can tell they are like Jamaicans. And so I should try and do something Jamaican, like a food. Maybe the every place. I'll take you guys along next time. So congratulations, my sister. You are doing a great job. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. If you are joining the live stream, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so talking about Nigerians initially, said Nigerians, after all their population, Wahala to ask Stella, how can you? <laughs> you guys, don't let us fight. <laughs> so yeah, Badu says, oh, you're yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I'm blushing. Look at me. I'm blushing. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> is there, what's your trick in growing your channel i don't think let me just take a two minutes one minute water break sorry i don't think there's really 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 a trick but i feel like ever since i got consistent in trying to do one thing i feel like people started noticing me for that and that is how i would say it has been my good growth because I was, I, I tried to be consistent. I used to post once a month, then I changed to twice a week, then I went to once a week, and then now I've stick to Wednesday daily posts and Sundays. So I feel like when you create a timeline, people are like, okay, this day, this day, Stella is going to post. So everybody is in expectance um, for another video, which also helps in a way of growing your YouTube channel. So I feel like that is the trick for me and um being myself there are a lot of times if you all know you watch um, you watch my videos right you know i make mistakes i sometimes even pronounce words wrongly sorry i sometimes don't even know what i'm even talking about but some way somehow i try to just make it fun try to also um come as though i'm also learning and so sometimes it all depends too on um being yourself and then um how do i even put it Try not to copy people, basically. Yeah. Said, um, yeah. So he said, 90% of the people in Jamaica are from West Africa, Ghana, Nigeria. Oh, okay. That's, ex no, that explains why 
we have these similarities. Thank you so much, Coach. I'm grateful. Only Hausa is similar. Oh, okay. You mean to Nigeria, right? Okay. Congratulations, Tenakis. Thank you so much. Please stay in your amazing way for a long time. Oh, definitely, definitely. I don't think if I would change, I would have changed a long time ago. I'm so grateful and I hope that um, nothing makes me down, nothing makes me depressed, nothing makes me sad to even want to change my lifestyle because I feel like it's been amazing years of of being this way, of being exciting, of being um, smiling. I mean, the smile will never fade. So yeah, that I can assure you, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, said, do you love Jamaica because you love water? Are you? <laughs> because I am. Oh, I am. I am a Virgo. I'm born in September 16th. I was born in September 16th. They come to the UK. I'm ready to do you as anytime you're ready. Oh, definitely. Okay, Evans. Please hit me up on Instagram. Let's talk more. Definitely. At least now I know my UK plug. <laughs> 30K by the end of this year. Amen. Amen to 30. Amen to 50 and more. I need all 100. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I said. Are you from Ghana, sister? Yeah, no, I'm from Ghana. I am born and bred from Ghana. Patient says hi, 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 Paul. We are here. Hi, Paul. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. Um, and let someone else in Canada or Jamaica take you from there. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. I definitely have to. I pray the COVID situation goes down by next year so that I can join the Jamaican. Um, what's it called? The the um, their celebrations they do, I've forgotten the name. That's yeah, the one that they wear this the um this clothes with the with so many things like yeah. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so he said Jam Rock restaurant, husband Jamaican, wife Ghanaian, and don't forget to star in Canadian fan inspired by Jamaica. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Jam Rock. Yes, I have seen that at um Syntex. And then there's also one at East Legon. I should visit there very soon again. I mean, I eat there. I don't know why sometimes places I eat, I usually don't usually like to vlog. You know, sometimes there's a difference between trout, like um, YouTube and Thai. Maybe sometimes you go somewhere, you're like, nah, I don't feel like vlogging. There are days like that. I've visited Jam Road before, the one at East Legon. And so I don't mind vlogging it. I think I should have a YouTube, a personal YouTube channel. What do you guys think? Would you buy the idea of having another channel so that I can post? other stuff like where to eat private stuff so maybe if anyone is in ghana and is interested let me know i said um um since i followed jimango i just stayed blue to you because i am a water baby oh good to have you and d d is such a sweet girl like since i met her i was i'll just i've just been smiling she's so energetic she's She's like she when she wants this, she tries to get it, and that's one thing I like about her. I am Mara, <laughs> guys. You guys, I've had amazing people joining my live stream today. Woo! I watch I am I am Mara. I started watching him, and I started watching his um his sister, and I love him so far. I love him. I think I started watching him when he was in Colombia. That was when I played back when I started watching him, and he's been amazing, guys. You guys have to follow his YouTube channel. If you're not following him, what are you doing? Since greetings from Kenya, it was nice of you hosting my sister. Oh, thank you so much. Dimango is sweet. I like her. And I'm definitely coming to Kenya again to see her. So, yeah. <laughs> it says, Stella, I'm not even able to super chat. To. I think because your location is from Ghana, Ghana um, Ghanaians cannot super chat unless you are like, um, unless you are, you are, um, or unless you change your location or unless you use other means I, i'm sure it's not, it's not it's not africa wealthy yeah some part of africa west african wealthy so that's why but you can send me more money you know check my description the number is there and um, send me more more send me wave if you want to help support the youtube channel oh yeah 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 thank you thank you thank you so um let's see it said hi francis african rain hi Hi, hi, hi. Are they Mara in the building? I know, right? Guys, Mara is in the building. Oh, yes. Okay, so when I was talking about the Jamaica, I meant the carnival. Thank you so much, Coach, for reminding me. 
um 100k for stella all by girls with yes definitely definitely i'll be visiting ghana soon maybe ghana is a potential oh yeah i mean consider visiting ghana because i think you would you would love ghana you will love ghana you will not want to go back that i can promise you akosha shelly akosha shelly will always say the area girl with branding they should do this area girl with branding <laughs> akosha shelly is also a youtuber she's doing amazing She's also in the travel space, travel lifestyle space, and she's doing amazing. She just posted a YouTube video. Guys, check out her YouTube channel. It's Akosha Shelly. I did a video with her when I went to the tree house, and she's she's so amazing. She's so she's so sweet. And oh, yeah, if you guys will like it that's on her YouTube channel, and her editing is so yeah. Ed, you meant carnival in Jamaica. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. That is what I meant the carnival in jamaica so guys if you know when the carnival starts which month does it start let me know in the comment section so i can plan my trip very very well because 2022 i'm sure 2022 i think i'll spend less time in ghana because i have to explore the world i have to see other countries because i feel like you the more you you, you the more you explore the more you learn the more you experience other cultures and i'm ready for all that I'm definitely ready. <laughs> What's your take on Kita content versus the other content? Which one did you enjoy making? I feel like I feel that the Kita one is timeless. My take though. Well, I mean the, when I did the Kita content, it was actually very beautiful. It was for just it's for some days. I visited Kita Kita every now and then. It was also beautiful. I I, I feel like since I visited the north. There's been this spirit for me to go back to the north again. I don't know why. I just think because probably it's different from the city life. It's different from um um from Accra and below, like the western eastern. It's way way different because they have like the safari and their kind of lifestyle. The the heat. The guys. I just feel like the north was the time I really enjoyed filming. Yeah. So yeah. And um so let's see it says you should have a new channel where you post daily vlogs wow that's be that's going to be um that's going to be uh <laughs> that's going to be hard yes definitely i will have i will have <laughs> i will definitely have um um another channel which of course the last channel vlogs, which i'll start probably this month and so I will definitely announce it on my next video or the next one or the next one. But yeah, but daily vlogs, I can't promise because of this channel. So yeah, I'll have other vlogs coming up. And um, of course, actually, you said you deserve 50K before the year ends. Yay! Amen. I can't wait. I can't wait. Very nice color you have. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love from Grenada. Wow, this is the first time. I mean, this is the first person joining me from Grenada. From Grenada. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. Much love from Ghana. Much love from my home. Much love from, from Ghana, from West Africa. Um, that's from Elton. Now me say sending love all the way from Kenya. Oh, kisses, 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 kisses from here. Um, can say hundred k for Stella. You know, you know I deserve it. <laughs> thanks to you and thanks to your shares. Thanks to that you would do your daily if the shares are more if the interactions are more the views are coming if the content are coming and i promise to give you back-to-back -back content as always every wednesdays i mean always be ready for me on wednesdays because i always i always post on wednesdays every day wednesdays and sundays for sundays like sunday like this that i didn't post then i go live and before i go live i usually announce that i'll go live i try to go i try as possible to go live at least once a month i feel like i should be going live more what do you guys think? Let me know. Said, um, I would only stay in Ghana if you have good weed to smoke. Oh, no. It is weed you want to smoke in Ghana. It's not a problem. I have a plug. I'll sort you. <laughs> Hit me up on Instagram if it is weed you want to smoke. If that's the only reason why you got to Ghana, I got you covered. I got you covered. I have a plug for you. That doesn't mean that I do the same, though. <laughs> Let me clear this. So, yeah. I say, Come with me to visit Kenya. Oh, definitely. I said it earlier on that definitely, definitely, I will. I will. I will. I will. I said, um, um, 
Libongo sent me here and she's a good queen just like you. I hope to hear from her and the brother will visit Kenya in July. Yes, definitely, definitely. As I said, I guess I Kenya, Kenya is I think Kenya is Kenya is calling me so fast. Kenya is like still I go to Kenya, still I go to Kenya. So I'm putting myself together in a month or two, definitely I'll visit. And obviously, I'm coming with you. You're my favorite person. If you are joining the live stream, I can see about 63 people here. Kindly leave this video a thumbs up. He said, I love mama, he's a good man. Thanks for sharing me on your YouTube community, boy. Oh, okay. He did too. That's good. Sending love all the way from Kenya. Thank you so much. I agree with you in your mindset about traveling, mind opening, new experience, new perspective on the like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's my, that's what I always think. Because I feel like people, you watch YouTube videos, you watch um, you watch documentaries, and people are like, this country has this. But it doesn't feel like you experiencing it for yourself. If you go and it is that bad, then you know that, oh, 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 okay, it is that. If you watch it and then you want to experience it, then you go for it, and you're like, it's very good. You're like, oh, okay, this is the reason why it is this good. So sometimes I feel like experience is the best teacher. So yeah, very right said hello hello mensa is she's also a youtuber kindly subscribe to her youtube channel she's also doing amazing um thank you so much kb i can see some dancing ish and some love and some black loves and some thumbs ups you know <laughs> it's just a lash and i agree with okay, okay yeah, i think i saw i already said that yeah jamaica is very similar to ghana they are like twins which i totally agree immigration and entrepreneurship he's also a youtuber guys follow him he speaks more french on his youtube channel so if you if you um are bilingual or you understand english and, and french his channel is the best um, person he talks more of immigration to canada and all that stella congratulations the only motivation and the consideration the hard work will maintain your target and will bring you whatever you want to achieve your friend from cameroon thank you so much i watch his youtube video sometimes i don't understand his videos because he speaks French and but I mean it's fine. I still watch, I still support you. So guys, support his YouTube channel too. The not is addictive. It's nice change from the upright. I totally agree with you, Akosia. Ever since I visited the North, like there's this thing calling me that I should go back again. I feel like I didn't really explore the North as much as I should because I think when I did it was just when um COVID was um COVID um regulations was lifted from ghana so a lot of things were closed i couldn't even really explore zena lodge i even though i saw it i couldn't really experience inside so i feel like i have to go back to the north like i have to go back to the north yeah yeah sending love all the way from kenya naomi thank you so much okay i said barbara sent me so i'm going to subscribe thank you so much funny money oh your name is funny just like your, your name funny money fss big up says thank you so much dan kisses from uk kisses from ghana because because jamaican weed is the best in the world wow i can tell you like weed a lot <laughs> i mean i don't know why but like this is very very funny like there's something i want to talk about but let me just leave it for another day it says abna treasure says hello everyone good to have you here abna treasure thank you so much for joining my live stream where are you and um, watching my live stream from congratulations thank you so much patience says good evening from dubai i love you i miss home oh good evening i think you are the first person joining me from dubai so far i mean on my live stream today I'm sharing on Facebook. Thank you so much, um, African Rain. I so much appreciate it. It's a what's my Instagram account? So my Instagram name is the same name just as the name here, Stella Chanelli on Instagram. Let me Instagram. Let me just type it for you. Yeah. So this is my. My Instagram name is Tala Chanelli on Instagram. Yeah. D Mongo is live on my YouTube channel. Woo, 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 woo. Guys, guys, you know I did a collab with D Mongo. If you are not subscribed to her YouTube channel, what else are you waiting for? She's sweet. She gives us village life, uh, village vibes. She gives us city vibes. She gives us a bit of everything. And you guys, if you want to enjoy her content more watch her own videos from down to the top 
you appreciate her videos more because she's doing amazing. She was in Ghana, she left us, and I'm already missing her. Guy, D, you have to come back home because you definitely have to find that. Uh, <laughs> you have to find that Ghana husband. <laughs> so yeah, it's a weirdo, which so I can add it to my. I think it's weird. <laughs> I love Ghana and Ghanaians. Ah, we love you too, Dangwood. So, hi, congratulations. Thank you so much. If you are joining the live stream, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Greetings from Germany. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've had a lot of people from Germany today joining my live stream. And I really, really appreciate it. It's good to know um, my YouTube channel doesn't only, um, it's not only from Ghana, it's from only, um, other countries too as well. Do you have a national food in Ghana as in Jamaica? If so, what is it? No, no, we don't have a national food because we have every um, every tribe has its own um, delicacy. There are lots of delicacies that we all enjoy. So we don't have like a national food that we say this is a Ghanaian. But we have wache, we have um, we have fufu, we have bangkun, we have um, jollof rice, which Nigerians and Ghana have always been fighting about. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I don't know why they do that, but yeah. Said, I love you, Stella Shafiki. It's good to know you're from um, um, me, your channel, by calling me that. He says, okay, so sent me a new subscriber here. Oh, thank you so much. And thanks, Barbara, for sharing my live stream. If you're joining the live stream, kindly subscribe and kindly give this video a thumbs up. A minute, please. Mena, okay, Mena says, thank you so much for the shout outs. I really appreciate it. I'm glad. I mean, this is a little I can do. So, um, African Rain says, just so Jamaicans and Ghanaians know, visa don't need it for any of the... I mean, yes, 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 yes. And um, recently, I actually heard in the news that there's a straight flight from Ghana to Jamaica, which is one of the most amazing things to hear because initially, you have to go through the, U um, the U.S., or the UK, mostly the US. And the US, it means that you need um, a visa. Um, how do I call that thing? You need a visa in the US before you can go. So right now, it's good that there's a straight flight from Ghana to, the, to Jamaica. And all requires money, money, money. So I didn't put money together and do a need for by visiting Jamaica, which I always say is my, um, it's my, what's it called? It's my dream destination. Kindly like the live stream. Yes. Like it, like it, like it, like it. I really appreciate you all. And I'm so, so, so happy. Say congratulations on 20K sub. It's almost 21,000 subscribers. And I'm so, so, so grateful. Oh, Eminem is sharing love. So let's go back to the north. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I will. Hi, Stella. Ziggy here. I love your content from Jita especially. We should collaborate sometimes. I'm a musician from Angola. Shout out to you. Wow. I think you are the second person from Angola joining my live stream. Hit me up on Instagram. It's Stella Chanelli. Let's talk more on that. I mean, it won't be it won't be bad to have a Chanel, Stella Chanelli tune from um, Ziggy D Dope, you know, some nice beats and things. <laughs> so yeah, I lived five years in Tamale whilst attending the Pokuwari school, and it was one of my best experiences. I'm so grateful that you enjoyed your experience because the North has a lot to offer, and I don't know, but I feel like people really speak, people don't talk about the North like they should, because I feel like there's more to the North than what we hear online and what we see on TV. So I feel like it's our time to explore the North more, because when I went to the North, I enjoyed my time. Amazing. The people are amazing. The food is amazing. The only thing is the weather, but I mean, it's just fine. I'm used to um, hot weather, so I don't mind at all. Hello from Las Vegas. I think you are the first person from Las Vegas. Mosi, good to have you here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up when you're joining the live stream. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. It says, oh, I miss. I also miss you already, G Mango. So this is my Instagram page. You all should subscribe. Oh, did I say subscribe? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. It's Stella Chanelli. And if you want to know what I do, life, 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 life updates. I mean. Stella Chanelli is the fastest. And I'm always on, I'm always on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Unless probably I'm not in the mood or I'm tired or something. I'm always on Instagram. So this is my Instagram page. This is my Instagram page. Can you subscribe? 
can you follow my Instagram? It's the La Chanelli. And I definitely know you guys will. I definitely know you guys. I mean, I mean, and I know, I know you guys will. I said, I'm joining you from Montenegro now. Whoa, good to have you here. And, um, oh, wow. I think I have a lot of messages I have to catch up. He said, Canada have better weed. Okay, there's a weed, there's a weed, um, there's a weed um, fight here. Natural Ghana, girl. Wow, it's so amazing the kind of people that are joining my live stream today. You guys are all amazing. Natural Ghana girl is also a YouTuber. I did a collab with her to um, Lakeside Marina Park and we had a good time, guys. Also, subscribe to her YouTube channel, Natural Ghana Girl. She's currently documenting and um, um, building a dream house in Ghana. She's currently building her dream house with her husband and family. And so, if you also want to know how much materials cost in Ghana, how to build in Ghana, I mean, her channel is the best, best plug. Hi, Blessed. Good to have you here. Valentine say, I'm late though. Drop a comment, good Stella. Hoping to meet you one day from Kenya. Watching you like, oh, I mean, it's not too really, late. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, the mango was on my channel. I, I think she's still on my channel. I don't do Instagram or Instagram, Facebook, or any social media. Oh, wow, I see. It said, I'm um, come to talk about Let's link up. I, I was in talk about some months back. I think I will come back again. Stella, grandma watching. Good to have you, grandma. Grandma is always commenting on my YouTube, feed, uh, my YouTube videos. Guys, it's um amazing, right? But you know how when people comment on your YouTube videos, you know them. You kind of know that this person is a, a, um, a, a somebody who really comments on my video. And grandma is one of them. She comments on my YouTube almost every now and then. I really appreciate you, grandma. I love you so much. Good job. Hello from Denmark. Hello, Tommy T. Good to have you here. It's a D in the building. I know, right? You're back again, Charlie. I hope I said that in the beginning because that is always it. It said, I've been in Ghana in, uh, I've been in Ghana 2010. I was living in Accra and I was impressed. Oh, I see. Said, oh, thank you so much. You have a big heart. God bless you. Wrote to 50K soon. Amen. Guys, do you agree? Do you agree with D? Do you agree that we have to hit 50K soon? Let me know. Let me know. Thank you so much, D. You are amazing. I mean, it was good meeting you. The village, the village video we did together really went far. And I like the fact that people appreciated it. And people are like, so I do more village videos thanks to you. This case is to you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. So Jamaica and Kenyans do not need visa. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, so you know, if you are from Kenya, you also do not need a visa to Jamaica. Jamaica do not need visa to South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Tanzania, Uganda, a lot more African countries. Oh, okay, that's good to know. In Ghana, you don't need visa to Jamaica. That, of course, I know. D sent you an easy. Good to have you here. Thank you so much for joining. Africa to the flipping world. Yay! High five to that. High five. High five. High five. High five. Say, Barbara. Okay. So I love that you live. I love the heart you live with. You showed main one from Coconut Shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in the village, yes. Air peace to Nigeria, to Ghana, to Jamaica. Oh, I see. Um, road to 500 to 50,000. Hey, hey, what am I even saying? 50K. <laughs> I'm not even with 50K. I'm already saying 500. Guys, can you imagine? Girl is in a hurry. I say, um, I said the Voltic paper water is the best. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is Rena. I'm glad you like the Voltic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see, just like we did, she wanted to experience the country. She came, she saw, she experienced. She has something to say about the country based on her experience. So I feel like sometimes if you want to talk more about a country, at least some way, somehow, try and invest the country. That way, when people are out there selling the country, you know, oh, this one's a lie. Or this one is the truth because some way somehow you have experiences so you know how it feels like being in that particular country said so the mango sent us here emily good to have you here d you have a lot of your fans here your, your fans are amazing don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll be wrapping up in the next 10 minutes it said i lived in ghana in 2010 also and i was impressed by the world supermarkets food and the Ghanaian 
um and the ghanian ones are beautiful i intended to come back then oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean from 2010 till now that's about um to 2021 11 years and what changed within the span and so i'm i have a feeling but next time you come you might be lost a little bit because it's been it's been 10 good years and ghana is ghana is growing and so you don't expect to see ghana 10 years ago the same as it is now so yeah i'm sure definitely when you come you would enjoy your stay i know you're currently in canada at the moment right if i am not wrong so yeah he said now you have straight flight okay grandma here good to have you grandma he said um tim g let's get her to 50. yeah tim i bet you know that that <laughs> I say I like to meet African women to marry. How can you help me? You said you're not on Instagram, so how can I help you? Because you're on YouTube, I think maybe you should just have a Instagram account and follow a lot of African women. And definitely, I'm sure you're going to find yourself a beautiful African woman to marry. <laughs> or hit me up on Instagram. It said Tim D. Let's the first tell her. Yay! I mean, Tim D. Has been supporting me since, 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 since. Like since. She posted our video on her channel they're like they've been supportive very very supportive that's one thing i think i admire about kenyans thank you thank you all thank you thank you so 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 much tk says the amazing six congratulations thank you thank you so much oh immigration thank you so much for the super chats i'm so 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 grateful thank you so much for the fans um your sweet smile will never will make a lot of people subscribe love love and then you have a lot of male subscribers oh to be honest but when i check my um analytics a lot of subscribers and so, and so yeah that's that's the truth mm -hmm. um so you look pain thank you so much party after party yeah i said i love your content Thank you so much, Flash. Thank you so much. You said I'm a new fan from Kenya. The Mango sent me here. It's good to know that the Mango fans are also here. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy my channel also. He said, Isaac said, what's good? You're doing a good job. Continue and congratulations with the 20K subscribe. Thank you so much, Isaac. Princess is also from Team D. I'm dancing. I'm dancing with all the Team, team D subscribers. I'm dancing with you all. Kindly give this video a thumbs up if you are from Tindi. Give this video. And if you're also not from Tindi and you're joining the live stream, let me know which country you're joining the live stream from. Shige says, Shige Z says, congratulations, Chanel. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. He said, Isaac, um, I am Chacha says, hi, Stella, how are you? I am from the Mangos channel, watching you all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. Nairobi is calling me. Nairobi, Kenya is calling me. It's calling me like, Stella, buy tickets, come 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 and so yeah very soon i will thank you so much for i mean joining my live stream thank you so much for your kind words thank you so much for the fans for everyone that donated to my super chat i'm so grateful if you also want to support my youtube channel check my description on any of my youtube videos and support your girl let's have some fun i hope you're enjoying my content so far let me also know before i go let me know which of my videos is your favorite so far? I've had I've had over one over over how many videos so far? Almost two hundred videos on my YouTube channel since I started YouTube. And so let me know which of the videos is your favorite so far. It said um, Buzz Baby, thumbs up, thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up while here. And um, Afram Emmanuel says congratulations. Thank you so much, Afram, for joining the live stream. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Where are you watching me from, Afram? Sami, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five. Thank you so much. Where are you joining the live stream from? Stella, have a, have a nice rest of Sunday. See you. Yeah, definitely see you tomorrow <laughs> at work. Um, okay, so um, Tometi is watching me from um, Denmark. Good to have you here. Welcome, Kenya, Stella. Welcome, Kenya. Stella, bring us um, bring us that pepper porridge we have. <laughs> okay, so you mean you want to taste that pepper porridge? Okay, so the pepper porridge is not really pepper. It's a spicy. So how they prepare it is 
they um when they are blend when they are grinding the millet they add pepper pepper means pepper the type of pepper is the chili the red chili dried they blend that with ginger and then um other local spices and then they blend everything together so when they are preparing it after preparing then you add a little sugar so it has a little bit of pepper at at the back of it i don't know how to how to how best to express it but when you are tasting it it tastes nice and so you are done drinking then you begin to feel that oh there is pepper in it so i would definitely i'm sure by the time it's get to kenya it's spot because it's not something that you can keep for a very long time i love your video shege shege she z says i love your videos on places interesting especially cape coast and takade oh so much i'm so humbled i'm glad you do and I mean, comments like this are the reasons why I keep creating content because I love that you love what I also do, which I'm really, really grateful for and which I really, really appreciate. Yeah, so which app do you use in editing your intro? It's so pretty. Okay, so I used um, the Final Cut Pro. That's what I used. To, I used um, my intro. It was my friend who did it for me. He's called Selassie. He did my intro for me from Final Cut Pro. But since then, I haven't changed my intro. Since I started using this intro, it has been this intro I've been using since. I I did that in 20, 20, hmm, 2019, 2018, 2018, latter part of 20, no, 2019, actually, 2019. And yeah, since then, I've been, I use Final Cut Pro. That's what I use. Kenya, and this sent me here. Good to have you here from Kenya. Ghana meals don't miss fish. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of lost. But yeah, we add fish to our meals. He said, after taste, after taste is spicy. Yes, yes, exactly. That is what I wanted to say. The aftertaste, the aftertaste is spicy, but drinking it doesn't taste spicy until you are done. Ghanaians like pepe. So if you are from any other African country and you're coming to Ghana, just know that most of our meals have pepe. So if you are going to a restaurant and you order a meal, just tell them you don't eat too much spice so that they can minimize the pepper for you so you don't have um um and um, um, tummy upsets because we like pepper we are used to it i have a typical african stomach that's why when i go to anywhere i don't mind about tasting any food because i really don't react to a lot of things so it's fine for me what that says is watching me from from russia good to have you i think you're the first from russia it says when do you want to go to jamaica next year hopefully next year 2020 2022 yeah he said, how best can I film a vlog? Teach me, please. Okay, that's Africa. You have to hit me up on Instagram, Stella Chanelli, and let's talk more about that. He said, um, um, here's my link, Stella Chanelli. Do have a blessed week. Thank you so much. Your link didn't come, but I still have your name. Boss Baby Talk is also a YouTuber. Kindly check her YouTube channel. Show her some love. She's doing amazing. I also check it out just after the live stream much left in the netherlands thank you so much i hope i did the love well yeah like this yeah yeah <laughs> so, um chango says hi hi no says what's the what's pep what's peppy what do you mean by pepe do you mean pepe pepe is pepe <laughs> i don't know what 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 you meant by pepe but let me know fish is the most sauce used is it oh yes yes fish fish meat fish meat and if you're a vegetarian you can also opt for vegetarian dishes we have a lot of vegetarian and um, restaurants in ghana also yeah my favorite video is please please come to kenya i can't wait to have a video with you the this girl to us i will offer a place a place in my village oh thank you so much for the offer this is interesting to know you guys really love me and you're very supportive. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. From the bottom of my heart, I say, I love you. Um, Liti says, hi, Stella from the US. She, she gave me a love. He or she gave me a love. Thank you so much. Sharing loves to you too. He said, um, she gave, says, I've relied on your videos as a guide on deciding on places to visit in Ghana. Maybe you can do a bit of other subjects Ghanaian food recipes, clubs, restaurants, black heritage, and historical sites. Okay, so yeah, that's the reason why I said I was going to also um, have another channel so that I, aside from travel, I could be posting more of lifestyle videos um, on that channel because I've realized that people appreciate, 
people who like other things apart from travel, but because I've started this travel travel, I want to keep it travel on Stella Chanel. So I will start a YouTube channel called Stella Chanel Vlogs and then post other things aside from travel, like as he's saying, Ghanaian food recipes, clubs, restaurants, black heritage, historical sites, historical sites, which I already do already on my channel. So if you know me, you know that some of the places I visit, if you haven't, you can check out my old videos. If you have time, just play all my um, playlists. You you know that I've done, I've done a lot of videos across the country. Okay. Um, the mango sent me from Kenya. Thank you so much, Catch Gloria Official. It's good to have you here. Your confidence in Kalium Park is incredible. Calcium, Calcium Park. Hmm. I see what's Calcium Park. Is it a place? <laughs> or you mean Calcium Calcium? Do you have lots of Jamaican living in Ghana? Yes, Noel. I already mentioned there are a lot of Jamaicans in Ghana. Yes, especially in the Ibri, Ibri areas, which is in the eastern region, and then also in Accra. Uh, specifically called Kokobite. When you go to Kokobite, you see a lot of Jamaicans there, and it's amazing. Sela, whom do you want to attribute this feast to 20k to to mom, friends, anyone in particular? I mean to you, to you watching this video, to you who appreciates my channel, to you who keeps supporting my channel. I'm so 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 grateful to everyone watching this video. 20k is to I mean you guys made it happen. So yeah, everything is to you. Hi Stella, I really love your work together with you. Keep it up. Much love for oh thank you so much, Spencer. I'm so grateful. I enjoy filming with her too. I realize you are also a Lydia Jenga fan. I'm still on my way to becoming a travel blogger like you. Oh, yay. Hey, I love I love Lydia Jenga. I've been following her for some time now. And I love her. I watch her stories on Instagram. I love, I love how real she is. I feel like because I'm real, I kind of like people who are real. So, like, no fake zone kind of people. If I find a YouTube channel that they are so real and so genuine, I feel like I'm stuck to their channel. I watch their YouTube videos continuously because I like people who are like that. Like, I mean, that is what life is all about. So, yeah. Fabrice says, congratulations. Thank you so much, so much, Fabrice. Is it my Fabrice from my university? Let me know if you're the one watching you live from Libya. When are you coming to Libya? I would love to see you in Libya. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure very, very soon. I haven't thought of Libya yet, but there are still um, pending um, countries I, I really want to see before. So maybe Libya will, Libya will come, but not now. Yeah, not now. Maybe two, three years, four, five years. <laughs> it's a yeah, mobile money coming. You know, celebrate, my friend. Feel proud. Hey, Charlie, I can't wait. I can't wait for the Momo. <laughs> Say best smile. Thank you so much. How? Make it African countries are there laws and rules to uh, flying drones? If yes, kindly let me know. Um, let me know. Um, fit to let me know if Uganda also has that um, regulation. Thank you so much, Kingsford. I'm so so grateful. It said, When when you st, I don't know what's st. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much, guys. I think it's it's about time we wrap up the live stream. It's about time we wrap up the live stream. Okay, I think I've seen this. So yeah, it's about time we um, wrap up the live stream. I'm joining you from Jamaica, my sister. Okay, so I mean, um, two minutes, then I'm out of here. Hello, pretty. Nice to see you. Watching you from the Caribbean common Islam to be exact love you guys a lot would love to be your friends thank you so much would also love to be your friend <laughs> thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i really really appreciate um oh okay so this is my fabrice from school thank you so much it's good to know you're watching this video with me live from germany kindly give this video a thumbs up if you're joining my live stream um, I will be ending the video in the next few minutes, and I'm so, so, so grateful for joining. He said, what I really love about you is you are so real, Africanists to our videos. It makes us learn to other people's cultures. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, what else can you be if you are not being real at the end of the day? It's, as I said earlier on, it's just like um, say, saying a lie, telling a lie. 
you lie once and then next minute you have to keep lying keep lying to cover up a lie and so i don't want to cut up in things that i have to keep explaining to everyone and so being real actually works for me do you operate a drone yes yes how nick check out my youtube videos check out my past YouTube video yes i i fly a drone and it's been amazing i i feel like now i'm getting so used to it i'm i'm getting very good than before and so yeah and i also incorporate drone in my videos thank you so much um jen mark he says you are beautiful thank you ah look at you i'm blushing good morning i love you it's my first um watch to my video and i like your video and i just subscribe thank you sunday it's good to have you here subscribe to my youtube channel take your time watch all my i mean watch all the videos as many as you can watch and i'm sure you like it here thank you so much for joining the family and sunday says he's watching me from dubai so i've had a couple of people watching me from dubai today it's good to have you here thank you so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yao says come to amsterdam yes i am coming to amsterdam um this year or next year europe challenge is so let's see how it goes but definitely yes i'll come to amsterdam it's a joining joining you from caribbean paradise it's good to it's good to have you all here so i want to say a big thank you ha 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 good to have you here you are late but yeah it's good to have you i see your comments on my youtube channel it says well done to 20k subscribers and it's about time we end the live stream i want to say a big thank you to this beautiful family for the support the shares the like even starting this live stream i didn't even know what i was actually going to talk about but your comments were actually very engaging and amazing and to all that's all those that supported via um super chat i'm so 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 great i'm going to use the money to ball and also do more trips just to also create content and um, for you and i know i know you appreciate me just as i appreciate the support and everything i'm so 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 super 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 grateful until then on my next video on wednesday and sunday keep a reply for all that subscribe to my youtube channel there's a, um, a notification button on your right it's a bell sign tap it that way anytime i post a youtube video so you always get notified of my posts and so every wednesdays at five o'clock every sundays at 5 p.m the girl is posting so always join at 5 p.m on wednesdays always join my live stream on sundays too so let me read my last and um, few comments it says do come to netherlands yeah i will i will definitely do that i said congrats melissa says congratulations 20 girl supporting you i'm so so grateful melissa hi stella i've had a Ghanaian friend and she's very sweet beautiful <laughs>
we must remember also that our recommendations should be based as much on our achievements as our challenges. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us celebrate our successes of the 2020 electoral process and document them, for there's so much knowledge, good experience, and best practice residing in the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Permit me in this regard to take you down the memory lane of the election 2020 and list some processes we need to review, draw lessons and recommendations from, and document. First of all, we need to acknowledge the fact that it took less than six months to conduct a presidential and parliamentary elections that would usually take two months to undertake. We must applaud the hard work of the EC staff across every region and district of this country for the yeoman's job they did. From the introduction of a new biometric voter management system comprising new biometric registration kits to biometric verification devices and software through to the replacement of the entire voters register to the election day and the declaration. It took the commission six months from the 30th and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. We table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak the fact and move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. No, but I, I, I also said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the word next. Yeah, to the I don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty.
powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. We table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak the button move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. But I, I, I also said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, to I don't think that I have we have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. Oh, I'm not a black. Today you are denying funny face. It's not my black. Today I deny funny face. I don't know who. You don't know funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. Me, my man, on camera. It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Wabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum.
principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. With table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak there for the move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. No, but I, I, I haven't said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, to I don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. I don't It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Huabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum. and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. With table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak there for the move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. No, but I, I, I haven't said he's a smart guy. Yeah, 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 I guess, yeah. I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, to I don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. 
but that's the beauty of the game. I don't know my brother. Today funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Huabin Abrantipa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum. Broadly, we need prudent fiscal policies in place to be able to anchor the recovery. And thankfully, the 2021 budget has already reset fiscal policy on a consolidation path with a deficit projected to decline to 9.5% of GDP and unwind over the medium term to under 5% by 2024. This will ensure medium term debt sustainability and achieve the set fiscal targets. Domestic revenue mobilization through tax reforms have to be stemmed up. And here, the ongoing national digitization program will be supportive. Already, the Ghana card and TIN numbers have been merged, broadening the tax base. Over time, this is expected to result in some revenue gains for the government. We also need to continue expenditure rationalization programs that are pro-growth and promote value-added uh, value-for-money projects along the line. There is also the need for complementary monetary policy and prudential measures to be able to sustain the recovery. Monetary policy and financial sector policies should be designed to anchor the disinflation process, create supportive frameworks for credit enhancement, digitization, and enhanced payment platforms to support growth. We also need effective implementation of pro-growth, and that, in that case, the Ghana CARES program remains a strong anchor for that. The socioeconomic consequences of the pandemic needs to be addressed, and the Ghana CARES program is in the right direction. Among others, it seeks to stabilize, revitalize, and transform the economy to create jobs and prosperity over the next three years. We also need continued investment in the public health infrastructure over the medium term and to be able to ensure that we improve the country's preparedness to adequately handle future health crises. Digitization to improve the business environment is very critical. Pushing the boundaries for the economy-wide digitization through the measure of the national ID system or the Ghana card with other national databases to enhance transparency facilitate seamless financial transactions, 
and reduce cost of doing business is very critical to the transformation and the recovery. In conclusion, Your Excellency, resetting the economy back to resilience will be a gradual process over the next two or three years and will require our collective and collaborative support and burden sharing to build back better. For the Bank of Ghana, we are committed to ensuring that the banking and other non-bank financial institutions remain resilient, inclusive, and supportive of resetting Ghana's post-COVID economy back to stability and growth. Of course, there is the groundbreaking mobile money interoperability, which has also been implemented. Uh, the mobile money payments interoperability has made it easy for transfer of money across different telcos and between bank accounts and mobile wallets. That is the unique feature of Ghana's interoperability. You're not just going between different telcos, but between bank accounts and mobile wallets. And since you have over, you know, so much in, in, in the system, it has solved the major problem of people having access to bank accounts because more through because of mobile money interoperability, bank accounts uh, or mobile money accounts are essentially functioning like bank accounts. The data shows that the Ghana currently is the fastest growing mobile money market in Africa, and the total value of mobile money transactions in 2020 during this pandemic was 569 billion Ghana CDs. That's about $100 billion in 2020. <laughs> to all chief executives and business leaders gathered here today, I encourage you all to diligently enhance your operations with innovative digital technology and to drive business evolution and for survival. Also, notions of sustainability and long-term value max maximization must be at the core of the governance and operations of businesses. Businesses need to recognize and appreciate the contribution of social and environmental factors and interactions on their operations and output. To adequately prepare for the unpredictable occurrences such as COVID-19, we should focus on building sustainable businesses and an economy that will remain resilient even in the face of the crisis. The pandemic has taught us that businesses are intimately connected with society, and such intimate connection will require businesses to be responsive to the needs of all stakeholders. The attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals as well as Agenda 2063 it's an aspiration we must all continue to collaborate and work towards in our quest to reset the economy and businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic. We must remain committed to achieving these goals. I will take this opportunity to charge all decision makers of businesses gathered here today to take advantage of this summit to forge key partnerships that will constitute a formidable force in our bid to reset businesses and the economy. The fight is against a common enemy and not against each other. The exchange of ideas and resources is cardinal if we are to emerge victorious from the negative conditions created by the pandemic. Addressing the socioeconomic impact of the pandemic also requires that we vaccinate as many people as possible against the virus in order to revitalize safe economic activity that will grow our economy. We vaccinated close to a million people uh, and we will do more subject to obtaining more vaccines. Our vaccination quest is a glaring testament of government's commitment to getting the economy back on track. And government will strive to ensure that a majority of Ghanaians are vac vaccinated in order to achieve herd immunity. We've now, however, decided to digitize the vaccination card, which you will receive when you get vaccinated. 
um, so that the card is now being embossed with a QR code so that wherever you go in the world, when they digitally check your vaccination, they will see that indeed you have had one vaccination or two vaccinations, uh, and therefore it cannot be altered. And this is the, the advantage of it so that we become part uh, of the global citizen. Look at what we've done with drones. The remote areas of Ghana could not access critical medicines and blood supplies and vaccines, right? We've brought in zip line. The drone services have started. This has created jobs. All these drone centers, we have four now. By the end of this year, we'll have another four, which will cover the whole of Ghana. These drone services are 100% manned by Ghanaian flight engineers, 100%. This is jobs that it is creating. The last week I heard that they have come to Ghana to get a few to go to Nigeria to help set up a few Ghanaians to go. We are now going to be exporting that skill in, the, in that sense. So technology, Historically, whenever new technology comes in, there's always a fear. You know, you saw that in the Industrial Revolution, and there's always a fear about how is it going to impact on jobs. But we are in a much better situation in our stage of development than, say, a Germany or a US or a UK. They're in a very different stage. We still have major expansions to do in various parts of our economy. And we believe that if we bring in the technology in those areas, you will have more jobs, ultimately. Uh, I, I, you're not going to get many robots take over production in Ghana tomorrow. It will take, it will take some time all right, before we get there. But we can really see opportunities in many different sectors where technology, whether it's in agriculture or industry, or where technology can expand job opportunities. New, I mean, entrepreneurs, because of the availability of technology, will set up new businesses that they were not able to even think about five years ago. The, the new opportunities are coming up. Jobs, digital address system. Someone has written an application. They are employing people. We have some of the skilled people. Now, of course, you have to tailor your skills development to what is emerging. And, and, and you see that we are going to try to do exactly that. The skills development program to be able to, but we have very, very talented kids in, 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 in the technology space, very talented. A book, two books actually, um, in one pack with one spine. Um, the book is called Love Lockdown because in our Akan culture, means something that that locks you down. Malireo, you know, that is your wife. That's what you know a wife does to a man. So, and. If you've been married before, you realize that it's not something that we put on autopilot. You have to make a conscious and an intentional effort to keep it healthy from the beginning till the end. You know, so there's a certain level of um, intentional intentionality to love and relationship and marriage and nurturing children. So that's why we call the book Love That Love Down. And then we also we had been thinking of writing this book like four years. But during the love lockdown, during the lockdown period, we decided to put the book together because we were at home, we didn't have anything to do. So we wanted to call the book Lockdown so that we use it to mark, you know, last year. Um, the book has so many, it's like 400 page book. It has so many ideas. We tried to look at the cultural aspect of how we've seen and viewed relationships as against the modern terms because Back in the day, you could find your wife at the funeral or at the church, but today you can meet your wife online. What are the dynamics, you know? Back in the day, there was nothing like 
the sending of nude pictures, Instagram, and things like that. But now, um, to be able to, you know, let someone know that you love them, they need to see your pictures, the online dating. So there are very, very new and nouveau ways of looking at love. And that's what we are looking at, you know. And we are looking at the idea of being able to be funky, cool, gentle and be popular and still love your wife and make their make her happy so these are some of the ideas that we are looking at no. I, I don't know i don't know what to, what to, what to say but i think that after you've read this book what we want you to feel is liberation we want you to be free and no matter how late or how early that you realize that your partner is not yours this book encourages you to have the courage to stop it before it becomes like um, like a lifelong of pain. Love Lockdown, Chame Kwame, and of course Anika's book. I think it's an amazing piece of work. I'm saying this because I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm joking. I've not read the book entirely. It's just uh, the forward probably and um, just the preface. Easy bits catching this here and there because along the way Kwame told me about it and he gave me an overview of what he was trying to do. But knowing my friend, my brother, I know that it's not going to be short of anything spectacular and uh, it's a book I will actually tell anybody to get at any time. I believe that in these modern times and um, the um, internet age to be precise, people have it all screwed when it comes to um, matters of love, relationship matters. People are reading a lot of internet into relationships and stuff like that. So coming from a young couple, being there, done that, and sharing the experience in a book, you can go wrong with it. This is not something that, you know, you just go listen to a lecture to come and put together. This is people's life, what they do and that is what they are sharing. So this is first-hand information, and I think every young couple, even the older ones looking at refreshing their relationships, I think this book, Love Lockdown, is going to do them a lot of good. Oh, I guess I'm the first person to have the book, right? Yay! So this book is actually going to be a good read because it's coming from my family. It's coming from my smaller husband. That's who was saying in Ghana. It's coming from my husband and my rival. So I cannot wait to read this book. And Kwame and Anika have been very instrumental in showing what pure love is. I, I got to I got to know them through their courting period and from day one it's been transparency, it's been true love, it's been lots of genuity around them. So I just cannot wait to read what I don't know, but I know I know about 80% of the things they've written here. What, what I'll tell upcoming love bets is that no two relationship is the same because you're different people from different backgrounds starting a relationship what works for my relationship might not necessarily work for yours because we are dynamic people so learn to trust whoever you're with learn to love whoever you're with learn to humble yourself in your relationship and do not take each other for granted and with the fear of god topping it all you're gonna do great It is their love story. And it's interesting because when we hear about celebrities, we assume that they're full of trouble, they're fake, and we stereotype celebrities. So for us to get a love story from a celebrity who are just ordinary people who are living their lives, trying to make their love work, it is very, very good. And especially also because they do not pretend, they tell it all. So we are taken into their bedroom, we are told about their fights, we are told about their differences, we are told about how they raise their children, what they eat, their work, 
and they tell us the differences they have and how they go through their problems. So, in the end, we know that celebrities are just like human, any human beings. They have the same problems that we all have in marriages. And then what is nice about this book is that it tells us that not all celebrity marriages are full of problems and that there are celebrity marriages that are doing very well. And so other celebrities can also read this book. Other non-celebrities can read this book and take a cue from them. There are no two marriages that are the same. Every marriage is different. Even though there are books about marriage, you are only reading the books to guide you. Each couple has to find what works for them. And as Pami and Annika say, when they married, they decided that they will make their own rules and find what works for them. And that is what they've done. And therefore, every marriage should know that there will be problems, but the nice and important thing is how to work through your problems. decided to rebrand Farmage and relaunch his career. We asked that um, in brand building, he had to say who he was. And then when I asked him a series of questions, he said that he was a family man. And then, based on that, what he did was that he showed off his family. He was very, very proud of what family he was building. And so whenever he was there, I got um, DMs from people that said, is, is your life as happy as this? Are you happy as your husband puts on social media? And then I would ask, answer a few questions here and there. But then the questions kept coming. So we decided that since there were so many questions that were plaguing people's minds about our relationship, why don't we simply put something together in a book as to how we live our lives. Also, people came to us for relationship advice, and whenever we could, we gave some to them. So we decided to put everything together in a book and share with people how we live our lives. And though we are not perfect, how we have been able to maintain our relationship the way it is. And so that is how the Love Lockdown book came to be. We had been thinking about it for forever. And every time we started, we couldn't finish. So eventually, during the lockdown, we had nowhere to go. So we decided to finish it with the help of our co-writer -co called Cheya Mwaku. So we put it together, and then that's that. But then why the name? In the book, we address why the name Love Lockdown. So we are hoping that people will go and get it and read it. And then, for whatever reason they pick the book, why we put the book together is that whenever you pick the book, you should feel depression. You should not be in a relationship that you are unhappy in. Whatever relationship you are in, you should be in because you are enjoying it and because you are happy to be in it. So that's the essence of it. comes a lot of love towards each other. Um, sometimes I think we, we, we could wait a lot on what the world calls love. But with love comes a whole lot of things that we don't think about. And I've mentioned dedication, I've mentioned um, thinking about what each other wants, I've mentioned being committed to the fact that you're two different individuals, you're never the same. And to be able to live with um, somebody else who's totally different from you and to be able to understand each other enough to come together to put your heads together to write one book um, that we are all going to read. I haven't read the book so I don't know what it is. But even to be able to work together to put a book together and the way I see them signing the book together um, with all smiles, I mean I think it is quite a feat. 
and um, the two of them are like a sister, a young sister and a young brother to me and I think they've done extremely well and I can't wait to get into the book and to see what it is about. You never know, even though I've been married for about 26 years, I think there probably will be something that I will learn from reading this book and I can't wait to get into it to see what uh, Ochiami and Annika have in here for me as a 26 year, <laughs> year married person, so I can't wait to read this book. We have, we, have, we have integrated the national ID with the NHIS, and uh, we, are, we are moving on to controlling an accountant general's department. Uh, the ghost workers will not be happy, um, but we are doing that now. We are, we, are, we are in discussions with the banks and the Bank of Ghana, and Bank of Ghana is driving. Uh, all bank accounts uh, will be linked to a national ID number and the process will, will, will start soon, and banks will start, once the process starts, they will start accepting and verifying the individuals using the national ID card. Um, I, am, I expect, as the uh, Minister for Communications and Dig Digitalization, uh, we'll soon announce which, the, that we will all, from maybe end of June or beginning of July this year, everybody will have to register their SIM with a national ID number. So we all have to do that, otherwise we lose that SIM. As they say, nipa ye bad. The human interface, uh, you will encounter corruption immediately because the systems were very uh, bureaucratic and manual. And so we decided to digitize. And so we needed to put certain pillars in place. Specifically, we've issued a national biometric ID card, which no government has been able to do since independence. So far, we have 15.5 million people who have been enrolled. And we expect that this process for the above 15 years uh, democratic, demographic, the, those above 15 years of age, that process will be completed this year. Uh, we will then move into the schools and do those below 15 years of age. But this national ID system that has been implemented has provided Ghana a database that will be the anchor for all transactions in the future. We are about to move into a new economy, if you, don't, if you haven't already realized that. Uh, it, because it is going to provide a unique, a single source of truth and a unique identity um, for all transactions across the spe spectrum. And so this year, what we've been doing since we came into office has been the integration of the national ID database with other databases, key databases. So we've integrated it with SNIT, we've integrated it with GRA, and with GRA, for example, up to 2016, TIN numbers in Ghana were 750,000. By just making the TIN number your national ID number, we've immediately increased it from 750,000 in 2016 to 15.5 million as at now in terms of people with tax ID numbers. As I've indicated already, the Board of Directors and Management will have to take appropriate measures to ensure that a successful technology and digital revolution is achieved. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I must add that resetting the agenda to achieve business and economic resilience may not rely on only digitization. There are indeed other issues of importance in corporate governance which I, offer, I wish to offer some thoughts on. I would like to talk briefly about four of these. These are making choices to reflect the right boardroom and business cultures undertaking meaningful corporate social responsibility initiatives, ensuring reasonable gender balance on boards, 
and committing resources to procure requisite technological infrastructure and for training and retraining of staff. It is time for us to reset our choices to reflect a good business culture. Pre-COVID times, I had the opportunity to serve on several boards in Ghana and abroad. Most boardroom culture, from my observation, has lost luster. Some boards also tend to be captured by management for, or a few board members for their own selfish ends. Other boards do not function well because top management withholds information from the board members, thereby limiting meaningful boardroom debate. There are also those boards that have members, those, those boards that have members who have no interest in the business of the board because they lack competence, confidence, experience, qualif qualification, and perhaps lack understanding of their role or obligation as board members. I've also seen boards where group alliances based on ethnicity, politics, or religion have led to the coloring of debates, breeding of conflict among board members, and a lack of cooperation in delivering the board's business. Directors need to be appointed based on competence, rather than political, ethnic, or religious considerations. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we cannot manage boardroom business the same way as we have been doing, and expect that we will achieve economic and business resilience. We need to reset the boardroom culture with faithful, objective, healthy and critical debates to speak to the needs of the contemporary post-COVID-19 business world. Certainly, the days of sleeping, snoring, and agenda-pushing directors should be over. Ghana Ministers of State Excellence Honours, recognizes the remarkable achievement of the former Minister of State for Defense and Interior, the person of Honorable Dr. Kwame Adokufu. Sterling performance in the course of his duties for Mother Ghana, we say Ghana is proud of you and so much appreciate your efforts. Ohima Messi, tell us the proud recipient. Okay. Um, this beautiful award goes to Honorable Nana Akumia. Minister of Information. Shall we put it together for Honorable Nana Akumia? Honorable Nana Akumia. The Ghana Ministers of State Excellence Honours recognizes his remarkable achievement as former Minister of State. For his telling performance in the course of his duties for Mother Ghana, we highly appreciate and applaud him for that telling performance. And to do the presentation is Echo Blankson. He is the Commercial Director of Advertisers and Publisher Solutions of Ghana.
So we'll thank you very much and good evening to you all. With that uh, sterling citation, the celebration goes to Honorable Dr. Kwabina Dufour. The Ghana Ministers of State Excellence Honours recognizes his remarkable achievement as former Minister of State for his sterling performance in the course of his duties from Ghana. We say Ayiko. And to do as the honor of introducing you as the next recipient, may I say a command? So Akuma, who is the proud recipient of the Sao? So shall we give it up for honorable Pamina?
From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. We call this one Lecitis Zabucajo. It's a tree that bears a pot with a lid, like that. We have the smaller antelopes in here. Uh, we have some uh, different types of monitor lizards. Well, I mean, mampam. Yeah, we have some pangolins, and then uh, some type of hyenas also. This was built in 1897. It is the oldest Dutch building outside Europe. This place was where Kwame Nkrumah was also used to stay. During the Second World War, the Queen of England was here. It was uh, like um, a hideout or security zone oh, for them. I so see. when you are there, nobody sees you. Once uh, we were coming with a lady, the lady says, I can't go again. OK, let's go back. She said, I can't go. So we need to carry her. These horses, how many of them do you have? Uh, at the moment, we have three. You are on Baby, yeah? I'm on Kukua. Hey. <laughs> we have Wakatachi. And then in 2015, while on my way to work, I saw a police officer arrest a number of motor riders at the Legon bus stop. And so I decided to film and use for a story. I was subsequently arrested, sent to the Legon police station, detained and intimidated for some six hours before I was let go. Now, today, Kileb Kuda, a colleague, remember, I mean, we all started from Radio Universe. He has been allegedly um, been tortured by some personnel of the national security for filming installation, but the journalist says he rather filmed some cars that had been left to rot at the premises. Captain Smart faces a month suspension for allegedly slandering President Nana Dodanko Kofuado, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and the IGP, but the journalist has denied any wrongdoing. Call it occupational hazard, but we ask, is free press in Ghana a facade? We table this for a riveting discussion. Later on, we'll focus on NSO Usubempe's apology after that epistle that angered a number of showbiz personalities. I am Benefo Boabin Abrantipa, and this is Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. Thanks for joining us on Bloggers Forum. I am Abrantipa Abdul Karim Ibrahim, 
It's a columnist. He joins us for this episode. Karim, welcome. Thank you very much, everyone. And Baraka de Sala. Ah, Baraka Kadi. Mabdunad Nanaya Asari, a.k.a. Romeo, is a columnist and the assemblyman for Medina Social Welfare. Romeo, welcome. Thank you. So he's in order to say Baraka de Kadi. Sala. on the streets. Medina, dear. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know Romeo was an assembly man. No. Oh, he is. He's a, he's a big man. No. <laughs> Romeo, dear. Yeah. You know, back then uh, on the University of Ghana campus, yeah. he's always been a leader. Oh. He's been um, JCR president of a Kwafu Hall. What's our idea of your craft? Now we're there with School of Performing Arts. Oh, now we're in charge of. We're young doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah, 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 because you were part of the executive council of the SRC anyway. Yeah. All right, so, um, Amma Bruni is on standby with Nkomo Oho. Let's join her. We'll be back shortly. Aha. Uh -huh. Obebe bisa so na atare kokoye ah ye ni braba vowel lens an kasa celebrate say wo krom ha na watwi mudin sem bi tu dwa man ka ni mo ma hu attack na akoso ah wo ja tu ato de dending ama bro ni komo e koso entertainment industry na na ma bo anu amedwa be som ma ye ntwa ye ho ni embrasis ya se wo ti wo be bi na wo dwen ho na so bi ko fa sem be for for wa ye ya wan kasa ah ye 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 nua actress e fie odo e na wa kwa koye interview e o bbc news speaking if you are not the questions, so say ni say then of course. Why only fix the country? We did not try. Eh, Ghana high away. I couldn't even move yet. Just say who you dream as? Can't get to see a bit now, Benya. Now I can't so fix the country. So why only say if you are the one you convey now? Oh dear, ni man kasa. Now if you are the same, you have to judge your man. I am me. I will come and say. One in Kwafu Kununum, say a politician, so say a movie director, so one in Kwafu edit that, say a bayo met me as survive it. It's a juma or more crumb, and I'm not say, ah, if you are men, yes, sir. So wouldn't him say, wouldn't I, would you maybe a wound yan yan tin, I wouldn't Kwafu, Cassa, woo, now men, Cassa, me, I will crumb her, one in Kwafu da for survivor. Mamma Bekaya, a year two thousand and eighteen, and an actress, Moisha Boudon, of course, CNN, and only Christiana Mampo, Koya interview, no, the tumor. A man for a work room, and can't name me, and Kwafu Kunum, I want to wonder, send a bay or high apartments, Kaka Krebina, when you know what. A bay, ye are not too much. Oh, who are the Namuku any master? Ah, now if you are Dutch, the ma, or send me an one or what the one would. In the sober man for food, you gem, and you gem, sir, and a woman will scan their own one, dear, and one anybody. In tea, no way, be a so or best survive. So I don't know, be Kunu Bedao, politician, and for beyond. Ah, Ghana for say, fix the country in Komana would in Munya and Jayo, who caught with other social media platforms, and your how well Kosu or Ghana, I have bad rules near it. What draw and what the Asha so would be fix the country, hashtag, net trendy and Casa. Nay, I was a female musician, a friend of Amari. Wow, you know, fancy. Uh huh. Wow, you say she has a different vibe. How about that? Twitter, no, no, so they didn't send me a bit to your trim. Oh, politicians, dear. Move to me a castle, never mind, cost you as a will bet here, will bet here one fine yeshi. But who bought my dear now could kidnap you one baba could be a one of my dream baby fee. And I'm a focus, eh? I did the one boss a gun, I had say, and I say, but send uncle more you quay there. Why was a gun as a sea at your protest for so politicians, one thing? I was a eh, a gun has some no can, and I say, a general eh, no boss. From her, then I said, The eye of wild do, who could cancel me the one can here, was an national security. Aha, one by no one best wow. It was a marriage in a you, ah, yet to us. Ah, then I watch a chimuna, a year fix the country, one would deem no do better to just so. Or the sank away demonstration can crabby. Now, what my band who say, Now, what can you a year social media, a year hashtag campaign, away a fix the country, fix the country, and you're good. Now, I send me concern of workers obey the Moena Ghana police for ten hours, sir. And you're better, America, why you're fast, wild, just a walk or court, and no coaching injunction, what they told. So, court, Jema, one moon himself, coronavirus, in Tiban or public gathering, in Timon to me, yes, I protest. And I also, sir, I'm obey, more person, more stop paying. And I was answered to us, and what they hear, virtual demo, and you could be brave, fix the country, or post here, and all the ashes, or fix the country, and send me break also. Nay, nay, and a man for say, eh. I hear demonstrators here walking to a plaque as a canteen and walk across the south and more cars, Marco Dina Independence Square. And then I can't talk to you, I can't tell you now, but you, Marco Chemo, and then we are in a name. Once a south cars, they say, one of us all called Independence Square was out, I'll be who's a mere cross, no, 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 no,
Since the country they won't enjoy, we'll be cost work to say Chrome has say in some years we'll be solving them. Ah, um, one and a half years him say a year ago they didn't know better. A year fix the country in some years. Finally, we're casa. Or three months a year ban a year so a year another don't quite cover it. We'll be to me a year more famous. Now we're going to be a boy more. I'm going to be a fixer more attitude, all right. But the system is not just me. Any year we'll be trying to three months one and a half years so politics is not in. Oh no, we're going to be cost more than any. But as in Chrome has say one quarter beer. Now we're talking about say we a year we support the government. Of the deal. So I call the chairman. I buy it to move to me. I move to me. I am the chairman. Move your man. That's move. Move. Can move. Show. Kakra. Now so chairman. I am. I am. So I will come. I am. So I am. Fair. Mude. The government is born in Humode. Now I am. So I am born in Humode. Ah, some women who say I fix the country campaign. I go so social media. Celebrate move your man. Kasa. Now I can. I can. I am. I am. Endless. I will sub empire of Ghana gas. Or this. I am no abe to insert me. Or chairman. Celebrate. So I will come. I say. Mo. 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 Nya. Mo. Mo. Baba. Baba. I say me buy. I move. Bo. I am. I am. Nana. Drunk. Kwa chima bo ne chisa so umbo ni humo de ne fa yuko siya. Mo amu kasa kasa mo chow chow tweet na face the country face the country. Mo kasa si se niye biya manu monsa. Mo amu se ah. Ena so so bempa asema ba na yeka na wa ba ba kasi. Mo amu kasa se sa kasa na yeka sa beng. Ne le jawo tu tu bi man na kasa jese wa power na kasa wo chemo wa kasa yi. Ope hint na si nyesa. Na o mo zele ngoma nu kwa ne no nu kasa ba no so. Opa mo chow. I want to say some no can be a nice hash that can't be. We must be a fan of Boko. So I'm not to be a man. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am music producer Morris Babyface. I'm not going to be a bit too drunk. Oh, Chema, can I not worry us? Oh, aye, aye, a me I was the one who won't quit. In a day, when you are tired, some of my babies are in a day. Oh, me for me, I'm a come, I'm a come now. Four, oh, me no wonder. I say me better than I was. Hey, Morris, oh yeah, sure. No, Chema, oh no, I'm casa. Oh, how be I no of him? Tell me where we are sin. Oh no, I'm casa. Oh, no wonder. Oh, tired. Oh, me casa. Oh, ready. Oh, jai. Oh, man, in sasu. Oh, be here fasting. Yes, so why you come to? Oh, now you so be break here. I na get your friend. Na ni eja. Oh, ba na oh be sin. It's Morris. No of for how mupa. Cause he say. Now that we are in the coma, we need to solve the nature. In Pyboc, a crank, a crank, we break it, break it. At the end, after the F, we need to. In tomorrow's baby face, Chema. Can I now in comfort that in the day I'm with me from my phone? So I'm going to put in jail now. Because by this time, we're going to solve the problem. We're going to be saying that twenty is over. Ah, so we won't say hey, do election time. Ah, hey, celebrities. Some people endorse hey, political parties. Hey, no more candidates. Wow, 2020. It's back. We are going to be here. Any Sami, MPP, or endorse one fine year campaign. Ima, come on. I'm going to put you maybe be doing this side. This is can go to your own casa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make it. Now, hey, hey, links entertainment. I'm a former hey signee. 20. Dub Nation. What they send me a bit to draw. What's the one? Pass a political party beyond bear and doors. One day, I'm going to come on the one. What's the one? Yes, I didn't be that. Cause if you say who endorse one of my wishes, Kakra, for the what banana one born who made it? Now for the S O Kasa, who want to mean Kasa here because as I want such a way no. Into one day, one will follow one will pay one no. What feel all over the world? Into one to mean banana Kasa, I'm going to endorse a party here and I say party B. Into pass or bear endorse it here. I'm going to come on the one. Next, Master Gazi. I wow, the music producer. We're producing your baby will come. I hear the crime on your Coco Sakura. Oh no, I no producing. Uh huh. Stoneboy album, I'm gonna get Janshin. No money for Kesia. Oh no, I no producing him now. Now, oh, about a year talk entertainment with Elsie Lama. I will go on web TV. Miss Master Gazi, Chema. Oh, you mean you're almost a royal to Zimbabwe? But Kakra be a kona no deal, baby. A common day no cry. Ah, my boy, the main guy, my rebel. Mubeka, I hear Bishop Bernard Nako. I come out at the ah last year, 2020. Oh, we. I come out and cast a net on his friend. Now, new we hear China and some some baby play. I hear new colleague back. I push in a wound. Oh, Chema. Oh, we hear be a man for a test. Say, oh, so on no kum. No, so on no push in a wound. Oh, after if I come out, come on, Ipa. Mo am na musa ndi betu jase na e yibi shorti ati na e ye nempano ne netu nempano se ni ni na wati oba e ye interviews e Zion Felix no chema ni ni ne nyampa oni bi shaba nchu nempano e biya onwa no se but se ma mo kaso oni ni ni a kasa kase bi no biya bi huntu e kubo ni diyan o se ni ni ne nyampa Bishop we are we only need near Sengia because it's basically nebusi on one year okay to make us run on yade. In this case, I'm not mocking. I'm a mucho, munjaik. Ah, na na grada, eh, me a mucho. Evangelist Patricia Odro Cranton, no chema. Eh, yeah, NCA. Muka is so close it down near two TV stations. And now, as I'm now, we're caught. We're going to come home. Now, they are to just so. Eh, NCA. 
car no de one ma was operate illegally no ni license no operate o se we twa saka ni nyina times o use we here we twa we twa ni nyina to the extent say two years advance kwa we twa and of course okay so what can ya te ya kwa ko hwem ni hu se e ya mpa na 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 ga de de hu se na we twi de o te say we trend ya o konfo bi o so say do de ho amenya mi se so evangelist na ensem e ko sue na e ye o so fo ba ko wo kroma e ye prophet kum chacha ai wa wa ti ase o che ma time bi o be ba na o be be ka agrada ho nsem e se nso onu do so ye for one and dream no do bun kwa fo wo kroma o be ka ne ho asem bia na 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 agrada se se o ye evangelist na ma suma ne young boy si bi no aba no na be pa che o ko si se o discover brand o se na ko be so bribe ni so be yo be ye di kum chacha so onu sa o 2000 5000 anya ni shi o asem na o ka ne se wo ye fake to be expose wo ah kum chacha so be expose di di ne ne abanti pa ye wie na wo twen ko me koso na ma boni ma bo na me di abrem da se ne e be shia we are back is bloggers forum on Ghana web tv my guest abdul karim ibrahim is a columnist um romeo mcdonald nanaya asari is also a columnist next on the table express freedom in Ghana whether it is a facade or i mean there are some things that the journalists and the media houses are not doing are we being educated enough are we overstepping our boundaries and in instances where we overstep what is supposed to be done Karim, you Hello. have been in the journalism business for <laughs> close to a decade yeah. uh, you have a story to tell uh you know i don't do quite as great uh the this the job that some of you do mm. and so uh on, fortunately or unfortunately i do not have such a a magnificent story to tell like you have mm. like we've seen with kellen like manasse like anas like edward snowden like uh, uh, julian assange i don't have any such uh, except that um i remember something i mean it pales in in comparison to some of these other stories but back on campus so there was this period during this SRC election thing the, the famous fo uh, phobie mcdad mm. for legon legon people and some of us were quite vociferous on radio at the time and i remember receiving a call one day in my room and there were two guys on on the other end say you oh na o carry na o sorry out na o did the candidate na term no you did be on no Charlie, <laughs> so, I know it was a very, I mean, at that level, it was not a, a big deal really for me, but I, 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 I got scared briefly, you know, like Charlie, because <laughs> I don't know who, and all, I mean, nothing happened to me, nobody did anything to me, but that's just my own little story in, in that regard, mm. but that's also because for people who get those sorts of attacks and all of that, there are people who usually are challenging the, the, the norm, they are challenging power. And so that's where it comes from. So I mean, some of us are not doing so great in journalism. So with, the are. with all these things that have happened, yeah, do you sometimes get scared what? in carrying out your duties? Well, I yes, I guess, but but for me, that is not necessarily because of recent developments. I think that I I live my life knowing that at any point in time where someone feels threatened by what you do. That person could harm you. Mm. So, so for me, it is not necessarily because, say, I work as a journalist. I believe that if I was any other person, and I say, for instance, go on Facebook and write something critical of somebody, mm. that person could harm me. So, so that's how I see it. Notwithstanding that, I think that there are, I mean, some examples, evidence to suggest that the people also who have dedicated their lives to do this work of journalism and do it well get attacked because of the work that they are doing mm. so that's also there so obviously you always have it at the back of your mind to to worry a bit but if you ask my personal story i it is not because of, of journalism for me even though i'm sure that it could be some time to to come in the future maybe okay now let's get into the discussion yeah. um with all that has happened in the last couple of weeks. Um, what's your own assessment of yeah. the issues? So, so let me start from um, Captain Smart and then um, segue into the um, Kelakuda um, situation. So, you see, when the question is asked, 
whether or not media freedom in, in Ghana is under threat. That question is a very ambiguous one. Mm. And so the answer to that question, it's often also quite complex. It is pretty similar to fix Ghana now. And the question, if you say fix Ghana now, what do you mean? Because, I mean, if you want roads, government is building, doing roads somewhere. If you want employment, government can point to someone who has been employed. Does that mean that your claim or demand for fixed Ghana now is invalid? So that's how this media freedom thing is. Mm. Is media freedom under attack in Ghana? Well, we're here, we're talking. We can say anything that we want today and it will be published. But it is also true that some people have done work as journalists and have been attacked by one person or the other. So I like to answer that question this way, that there are accounts, evidence, symptoms of media oppression mm. in this country. As to whether or not that is commissioned by, say, the state, that's a different thing altogether. But what is clear is that the countenance of the state also more or less emboldens some of these acts at one point or the other. So in some instances, you, for instance, have, say, the chief spokesperson for the government, Kudio Pong Kroma, mm. would make claims that don't, just as bad, let us not do this, in support of media freedom. I mean, the president will say one of such in his speech and all of that. You get government people or the state saying things in support of the media. But other times, you will get the likes of Mr. Kennedy, Japan, and many others also say other things to inflame passions and create chaos. So you can find evidence everywhere. Mm. But I leave a lot of this to our conscience and what we see. So then if you look at Captain Smart, it is clearly a case of suppression. Because if the account that he has provided is anything to go, to go by or to use, and especially also mindful of the fact that I have not heard the person that he is charged here coming to provide a counter position on the matter. Mm. So it appears quite clear that he is taken off because he has said something that is against the, the establishment. And so that is a problem. You see, if you go to Australia today, the, the government of Australia is doing so much to deal with the, the, the monopoly that Rupert Murdoch holds on Australian media. It literally covers, what, more than 70% or something. That sort of power that is created by media conglomeration and all of that is something that we need to have conversations about. So Dr. Kokutin, who is the owner of the group, has so many platforms across. I'm, I'm someone who endorses free speech without any reservations. Mm. But that does not also mean that we cannot be wary of control and power. So that at any point in time, because you have access to all of these, you can just pick your phone and say, right, um, I don't like that you said A, B, C, D to a, this person and that person. I'm not a guy of maybe just doing damage to our business. So, you know, uh, we'll stay somewhere briefly. Because what, when you do that, you're essentially cowering that person and leaving some memory for him that this is a frame of reference. Be careful tomorrow not to cross this line. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's problematic. But if I could just talk also about, um, about Caleb Kuda. You see, it is, it is most unfortunate, the, the sort of things that we're hearing people say and all of that. Don't forget that this is a country that we all live in. There's enough evidence that the state security apparatus have always behaved very irresponsibly and very unprofessionally. So let it not necessarily be, uh, say, a, a journalist. At every point in time that they have come into contact with people that they disagreed with on anything, they have showed little respect for the rule of law. So when there's an encounter like that, our reaction should not quickly be to go and defend the state. I know this Caleb story very, very, very well. And so the moment I heard that Caleb had been arrested and I heard the, the location, Blue Gate, I knew what it was about. Because he and I had had conversation about that work that he was doing. 
And you see, the reason I also believe that he didn't tell his superiors when he was going there is something that we do all the time. He was only fact-checking to get some prima facie evidence to then follow up on the story. So you have already given the preamble to that. Mm. He posted something in the period of Let's Fix Ghana um, conversation of cars that had been bought for a certain purpose, left somewhere growing with weeds all over it. So when he posted it, someone said that, well, those cars have been disbursed. So what you are doing is disingenuous. He felt that was, okay, a fair comment for anybody to make. He pulls that post down and apologizes. In that post where he apologizes, people come under that and say, don't take those people's word for it. Why don't you go and verify for yourself? And there are people who are lambasting, as journalists, don't just, people tell you something and you have come to apologize, you say it's okay. So I remember when I was chatting with him personally on that, I was asking, ah, but these cars that you posted, where, where are they? And then he said, oh, I've heard they are at some national security place called uh, Blue Gate. So the moment I heard that they had been arrested and that was the place, it just dawned on me that, oh, okay, this boy probably wanted to verify that mm. these cars were not there. And then he got himself into all of this trouble and all of that. And so if you look at that and every detail that he has provided so far, I have no doubt in my mind that this was clearly premeditated and maybe unfortunately for him, he walked right into the trap there and they did all that they did with him. And for anybody who's watching, for anybody who is commenting on this particular matter, you must ask yourself one quick question. That if it is true that the state has bought cars for mass log redistribution and all of that, to, in a sense, to help people who don't have jobs to use those cars to do business and all of that, and those cars were sitting somewhere, wasting away, is that good grounds for someone, even if there's a law that says that that will bounce back. Okay. Uh, Romeo, let, let me hear your analysis of it. Uh, do you also think that um, with all that has happened, journalism is under attack? Press freedom is undoubtedly the cornerstone of any serious democracy. And uh, it's spelled out within our constitution, Article 162, Chapter 12. 1 is to clauses 1 to 6. It spells out what is expected of the media and what we are not supposed to do, especially with a clause 6, which talks about uh, the restrictions, mm. like uh, uh, in a moment where. But if you look at clause 1, where press freedom is guaranteed, yeah. the, the word, see, they created, they knew that people would try to. Uh, suppress yeah. and there are even when you go further to clause 3 a brand device you can do as the honor by reading clause 3 to the hearing of viewers you realize that the constitution was tailored to protect and guide the media mm -hmm. being the fourth arm like we always in the fourth estate realm you get it mm -hmm. to be able to put whoever is in power into check and also not just to spew out words that's where when you go to I think uh uh, 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 cross four, there is an avenue for rejoinder. When you say something and the person feels that it goes against his person or entity, you have that yeah. uh, 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 chance to retract, mm. to also render an apology. Because uh, image, they say, is expensive. Destroying it takes a long while to build. But then again, if you assess the happenings in this country, Abrantipa, in November 1994, that's where people pushed, and some first radio stations were, in terms of a, a private radio station, were pushed that people need to have that freedom, freedom to operate. To the extent that by the year 1995, people had the, the liberty to be able to set up private uh, TV stations mm. in this country. It was meant to open up the system, not to to break that monopoly, G GBC those days was enjoying that government to use those uh, 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 avenues as a, a, a measure of controlling what we say, uh, what to be put out, and what not to, uh, to be put out. Mm. Now, this is a new dispensation. There's been a paradigm shift from 
the 1992, yeah. after, before the uh, pre 1992, and even within 1992, people felt people were being suppressed, and that was what people pushed for. And the likes of uh, Nana Bekufado, the recent lab president, who was a champion in terms of fighting for free speech, uh, 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 freedom, and independence of the media. That was what he's been touted for in terms of uh, uh, human rights activists, mm -hmm. especially when it has to do with demonstration, the right to say what you have to say to put the government on mm -hmm. the toe without fear or favor. So at this point, we've come too far to be experiencing things that we, we experienced in the past. It's, it's retrogressing. And let me pan into this Captain Smart issue. And he's not being attacked. Mm -hmm. But one will also see, there was a point where Stan Dube crashed someone's recorder. Mm. These things are not supposed to happen. And if it's happened in the past, it has no business in the present. Yeah. I don't know if you get yeah. the clear yeah. cut picture. Yeah. Now, if someone is telling you that cement was, was selling at 30 cities, but it's now selling at 30, uh, 52 Ghana cities, and dollar was X amount and Y amount now. So do something about it because you are the leader, you pledge the people. I don't see where the insult is. Mm. But you see, we've also created a caveat for politicians to use the media to the extent that they, they want every one of us to koto to the wings and caprices of whoever is in power, any of the, the group. Mm. But that is not supposed to be the case. But because some leaders, in terms of some prima donors in terms of the media business in Ghana have sold their conscience to politicians. Or they are politicians themselves. And they are politicians themselves, exactly. Being a politician yourself is your personal business. But if you are a media person or a journalist, non-journalist, you have no business. Hmm? Skewing facts to, 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 to favor a political party, knowing that you owe it a duty to the people than to the politicians. Mm. So then they did. Once they keep using you, they, they expect that everyone should be in line. So once you fall out of line and your leader or your owner uh, has some kind of affiliations with them in whatever terms, you would be used as a scapegoat, mm. just as Captain Smart was used. Mm. Now, panning in further to Caleb's issue. Caleb, you see, journalism does not just end on reporting. Yeah. It has its yes. investigative aspect. Yes. And you don't want, you don't expect me to announce to the general public that today I'm going to Blue Gate to see if those cars are there. What if they do their damage control? What if they don't, they, they, they don't even allow me access? You get it. How would we have ascertained some corrupt uh, 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 practices that happened in terms of uh, this uh, customs mm -hmm. uh, thing, DVLA? Uh, this galamsey issues, even the GFA child, child issues, trafficking. if the, child uh, trafficking the, 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 the journalist had announced that this is what I'm going to do, do you think someone will fall free? You don't expect the person to tell you. It's, it's investigative journalism. Mm. And the person did what he has to do. When you got wind of it and realized this was happening, use the right channel. In 2016, the High Court passed a judgment that no police officer can confiscate anybody's phone or gadget onto there's been a warrant yeah. or a court order mm. from the court before you can take my phone to check what is on my phone. And all the day, people will just say, hey, you are taking pictures. We are supposed to take pictures of happiness. I'm telling you that in Eastern region, a whole week, police officers who are supposed to a man or mount barriers within an enclave failed to appear even for once. Mm. And we did the same week, armed robbers mounted a barrier and robbed everybody. Assuming Abrantipa, as an onlooker, if I take video of what is happening, then today it happened that those on duty were not policemen, they were criminals. The records of my video would have saved the police service to ascertain who were behind those crimes. Mm. But if you tell me I need permission for you to, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to, to take a picture or video of, and if you want something to be done in the secret, it shouldn't be within the public domain. But once it's outside, I have the liberty to film it. But this is the level of intimidation some people are putting uh, 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 some uh, uh, journalists through and are denying them that kind of uh, liberty to do our work. Okay, so both of you think that um, Caleb's approach was spot on. Exactly. But here is the case the GJA president, uh, Afromoni, is saying that Caleb Ed 
as far as our ethics is concerned. He clearly breached the ethics uh, re relative to Article 13 of our own Code of Ethics, which specifies journalists should take pictures through fair, straightforward, and honest means unless tempered uh, by national interest. His interest here is not so clear. From the face of it, we <coughs> believe he erred. Uh, he goes on to say Caleb should have, shouldn't have filmed without permission and Caleb should have realized that uh, should have realized that place is a security zone and in every security zone the security law applies. It is no go area as far as photography is concerned and his violation of regulation might have triggered the overreaction from the security operatives. Uh, he goes on to you know, <coughs> condemn the, yeah. the act and then express their uh, you know, um, solidarity with Caleb and then Zoe. Uh -huh. uh, no. <laughs> I'm not asking my question yet, but Karim is shaking is he, his head. Karim, why are you shaking your head? No, because because that, that logic is so poor. It's so it's, it's counterintuitive. So you say that unless it is in the interest of the of the public or mm -hmm. some some good measure in there. Yeah. So that means that the the blanket idea that you must film it, I mean, so visibly without any, but whatever, go do or take permission, all of that, can be excused under mm. certain circumstances. The DJ president says that Caleb's intention- It's not clear. It's not clear. I mean, who's making that judgment? Who, 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 the, who the hell is he to make that judgment? Because, because- Yeah, someone makes a story. Yes. And goes for that to want has, to substantiate or to has, prove has their Has Mr. Afil money? spoken to Caleb Kuda to take, take him through why he was there, what, what the underlying goal was, to, to then make this determination with, with Bernard Avril. Another very poor job that somebody like him has done in this period that shocks all of us. That his dad called him and, and was like, put the family first. You see, he was worried. Tomorrow, if Caleb Kuda sees something, and he gets the slightest inclination that this thing, even though it's a good story, but if I attempt something, may happen. He's not going to do that. And you see, that is a dent forever on him and for many who are watching. Mm. And, and maybe finally, Mr. Filmoni, in, in that judgment that he, 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 he made there, to, to say that, well, be, he should have known that this is a security installation, blah, 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 so he could be arrested and all. You see, that arrest element is something that is quite okay and understandable because if i mean the fact that that's some security element in there is, is not in doubt so if he were only arrested and then the due process happened mm. that's fair enough but when he was when he says that uh, um the, the over, which are warranted or something caused the overreaction yeah i, I don't know if you could read that part for me he talks talk something about overreaction. Okay. Uh -huh. So he says it is no go area for, mm -hmm. uh, for to, as far as photography uh -huh. is concerned. And this violation of regulation might have triggered the overreaction uh -huh. from the security of You see, see the attempt to the justify. Attempt to, yes. And to play down, you see, might have influenced the overreaction. Mm. That nonsense clearly downplays the veracity of what has been done. And you don't forget also that. They are equally, I mean, Mr. Afimoni, I, I believe is not a lawyer. They are lawyers of some good repute in this country who have argued vociferously that no law was breached. So again, again, if we were all going to pontificate about journalistic ethics and all of that, he's clearly falling short here because he himself, with a proper appreciation of the facts of law, mm. is making a judgment that somebody's conduct may have breached the law. And then goes ahead to say that may have influenced the overreaction. And then we'll go and then say that this thing that they did was bad. How would you assess the GJA uh, whenever you yeah. know, issues of such nature happens? Do you think the GJA has done enough to um, educate yeah. the journalists or yeah. protect their interests? You see, especially when the challenge is clear like this and very strong like this, they have failed. Mm. Because you see, the problem, the problem is from GJA to wherever, leadership has oftentimes here in this country been very 
conservative and, and, and very timorous in terms of the approach to things. Mm. They lack the modern, the contemporary progressiveness and, and, and far, fiery attitude when it comes to making advocacy and fighting things. So I've interviewed Mr. Afimoni before. I mean, he's a fine gentleman. No, no disrespect whatsoever here. But this, these are people of a certain caliber who, who like things to be moderate, who like things to be, to go through a certain known standards and norms. Mm. So, so anything that is so revolutionary like that shocks them. So they will be okay. I mean, they have criticized Manasa Azria Winner, for instance, and intimated to an extent when he did those work on Zoom Line and all of that, that somehow maybe his work may be destroying Ghanaian business. It, it, yeah. So all of those things, and I think that it, they need to be very careful the position that they take. And that is also precisely the problem that we have collectively as, as a journalist. Because when this whole matter came, Mr. Benadavle, who is the boss of Caleb Kuda, who is also the journalist of the year, when he was telling this story, told it in a manner that suggested that he was an independent, objective, neutral journalist of the year, Mr. Benadavle, that everybody likes, and, and, and engage the story like a third party. You see, when you are part of a pack and it gets abused in that respect, the idea of some objectivity, some neutrality, becomes nonsense within that particular contest. Mm -hmm. And here, I'm not even advocating that you should say, take the side of Caleb Kuda, even if he doesn't believe his story. I am saying that the attempt to be some neutral guy sent from, say, BBC, that something has happened in Ghana, so he's coming to do a, a, a conversation without appreciation of the contest doesn't help. And that is what Gigi does a lot of these times, trying to stay in the middle. And, and interrogate the issues and ask questions because as journalists we ask questions. What's questions for what? Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> on, 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 yeah, on the GGA thing. I think uh, Mr. Moni uh, is not a fountain of knowledge and in this regard an experienced person with uh, good intentions would have even engaged the journalists in question mm. before even uh, uh, before even uh, putting out any comment knowing that there wouldn't be there, there wouldn't have been uh, nothing behind uh, he uh, uh, Caleb going to that extent mm. definitely there, there was a rationale <laughs> behind his movement and there's been a sort of uh, uh, a platform that he had made a publication earlier <laughs> in that regard. Mm. Someone came in to refute it. Then, as a journalist, you need to redeem your image. Otherwise, people will tag you as publishing fake or false information, and it affects your brand. Mm. Now, he goes, he goes beyond the mouse, and then this to find out or to ascertain that this thing I highlighted, you people came to rebut it, but here lies the case. It's here. So he was digging for it, which mm. is part of journalism. Mm. So I don't get the angle from which I feel money was coming from. If you remember, Kwachia Fremiyama, he's been silenced now. Not even a word on Facebook ever for a very long time. Why? Because he was constantly on the neck of the uh, uh, sanitation minister and I feel money. Mm. And, and he leading the pack. For me, honestly speaking, I don't trust him. So I don't trust his judgment. Because any good leader, for instance, if I happen to be the president of Ghana, and an appointee goes to do something, before even releasing a statement to the public, I'll call my appointee and, and query him and ask him what happened. And then, then you'll be able to know the nitty gritties of uh, 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 the, the happenings. Yeah. So when you're putting out a statement, you say for a fact, not just mere assumption. He was just assuming that the young man, uh, meanwhile, you have. Aside your, co your, your code of ethics, the constitution is supreme. He should take the constitution and open to chapter 12 from article 2162 uh, to uh, clause 1 to 6 mm. and tell us which of the two, compared to the uh, journalism uh, code, is more supreme. 
So he should give us a break. Honestly speaking, he didn't speak like a father. Okay. And it saddens my heart that same people will go out to make him retain his position. So uh, how should media houses handle issues of such nature when, when your employer, when your staff is being abused for what, I mean, in, 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 the, in the course of mm -hmm. their duties? How should they be handled? Good. Abrantip, apart from the Caleb incident, mm -hmm. there are some media houses who are also not doing the right things. Yeah. That's fair. Not doing the right things in the light that they are not even paying their workers, but they are not paying their social securities. Mm. People are quiet in this country because of lack of jobs. They are scared to be shown the exit. I've heard people say journalists are the only um, people who speak for others, but there is no one to speak for them. Yeah. Exactly, because mm. once you try to be loud, those who are very loud are those who are well established, that they have something working for them. So you can't tell them what to say. Mm. A, a typical classic example, Captain Smart. He had his foot on the pedal, and knowing that he, he has a setup, he's free to do whatever he likes. Mm. Like any day in Japan, he's rich, so he can t speak his mind even against his government. But you be in that party and be poor <laughs> and be employed by government mm. and be poor and speak against government and see if you will not be shown the exit. But because the man can in Japan is what to do, he feels comfortable telling people the truth. So now, if you do the whole analysis, it tells you that truth in this country is dependent on your stomach. And most media houses are doing the wrong thing, like I said earlier. They are not paying the right uh, uh, salaries to their workers. They are also not paying their social security. Mm. And in terms of even taxes, most are not doing the right thing. So they feel that once they allow their outfit to hit the government in power, when they start coming uh, after them, yeah, yeah, right. it will, it will <laughs> affect them. I'm not, I'm not using Captain Smart no, no, per se, yeah. but there are myriad of them in this system yeah. operating in the same way. Mm. But remember, it was this social security issue that sent someone like Agude to jail. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get what I'm mm. saying, yeah. but it's as if the law uh, is softened when Mr. A is concerned. Mm. It's by harder when Mr. B is concerned. These are the injustices we are talking about in the system, that the system must be fixed. Karim? Yeah, all right, now, so, see, and I, and I hate to be dwelling so much on the Caleb Kuda story. Mm. I mean, it is the latest, it is good to use that, but everything I'm saying here, I would hope that people understand it to be about the broader perspective, because remove Caleb Kuda and put someone in there, or remove 2021 and push it to 2050, these principles must apply the same way. Mm. So you ask, what must general uh, media houses do? I'm happy that uh, uh, Sinarobio here has talked about, I mean, the fact that, I mean, consider to the fact that there may be some other things that are done wrongly. But in the specific instance of when journalists have been under attack in this manner, we have failed to seize the moment to, to let those who have power realize that we can fight back. Mm. So of all the things that Mr. Samuel Ataman said in that in interview, which had Caleb in there yesterday, the only part for me that resonated quite well was what he said he told one of the operatives when they, I mean, invaded their premises, that don't forget that we are media personnel and that today you are doing your work. We're telling you to calm down and do it professionally. You are not listening. When you are done with your work today and you go, we also do our tomorrow work. Tomorrow and forever, we have the full day to also do our work. Except that, that was, seems to me, plainly rhetorical. Mm. He's not added the work to it for me so far. This is what I would have expected in this case. That yesterday when they did that interview with Caleb Kuda, the last five minutes they, they said, so what, are we, what have you decided to do? And I was waiting for something revolutionary. I didn't hear that. Yesterday, Bernard Avle had declared, and if he, they, they thought, for instance, that that was huge enough, what had happened, to say that he, Bernard Avle, today is going to cross the line that he has always been on, the moderate that he has been, and said that today, in solidarity with Caleb Kuda, he is hitting the streets, and that any journalist in this country who is minded to once and for all do something should walk and come join him. Mm. You have, you, have, you have absolutely no idea how that would be. You see, 
We need to seize moments and take very drastic action. I appreciate that people are different and they look at things differently. Maybe he is, or generally may not be as radical as I am attempting to be. Mm. Or that maybe I'm probably been seeing it, we're not seeing the bigger picture, whatever it is. The point is that there could be many other things that you can do. Seize the moment and not sit within the issue at the height of it and play nice guy. You expected a protest? I, I see. I expected that. I mean, there could be other things that they could explore, but I'm saying that within the context of what is happening, mm. I would expect that. And you see, it is also because you need to send a statement. Here in this country, everything comes down to political uh, leadership because our politics is one that revolves around a certain bureaucracy and leadership. Mm. That means that they have so much power to do anything that they want, especially in instances where those things threaten their political fortunes. So if you want them to act, then you, you, you go there. But when you let it go like that, as we have always done, then clearly what you, you do is, because these national security guys and all of that, the reason why they actually have so much impunity is because of the people who appointed them. And they know that as they happen at Ayawaso, they will stand behind them. You see, this is DSP as a group. We saw the work that he led mm. at Ayawaso. It was completely chaotic. It was very unprofessional according to the, um, I mean, you can infer from the report of the, uh, uh, the commission, among many other things. Mm. And then the next time that we see him out there in the public, he sends three armed officers, uh, about seven armed officers in three pickups to go grab a lady they were even fraudulently using Caleb Kuda's phone to draw her. I mean, how are you Boko Haram? You take the person's phone, text her, where are they? We could go chop. So, so meet, meet God, you should meet them outside so that they, they would abduct her. And then when you go into the building, you are applying force to drag this lady out. I mean, what, what is wrong with us? And you see, they are doing that because they know that as Budo, or what is the name of that guy who slapped um, some jaw, nothing happened to, mm -hmm. to him, they know that nothing will happen to them because the people who have put them there need them there. And that is why... So they do it with impunity. Yeah, so, so that's why the, the journalist in this moment needs to act and not call on God that in the next four years, when you retire or something, come on, God. The problem we have is that, you see, when it's happening on the other side of the bank of the river, people feel, oh, it will take a while to cross to my end. Mm -hmm. When a politician experiences such, some journalists made more clear of it. Yeah. But by and by, it's crossing the line. And it's high time we tell people in the face, it doesn't matter who is in power. Once it has to do with abuse, especially yeah. journalists, people doing their professional works, and then it crosses the line, you tell the person, you, you make sure. Uh, uh, it's either it, 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 it has happened to Asanda, uh, it happened to Asanda Usu, it has happened to Kamina Batels. It has happened to a lot of people. Mm. But at the end of the day, we say nothing, and we are the same people who empower these people with so much impunity. But if you, as a leader, watch it on. Tomorrow, if you're not in power, the same people will be unleashed on you. But once we set a reasonable standard, even if you're in opposition, you would have that relaxation and comfort and believe in the system that even if you pour yourself out on the street, people cannot indiscriminately attack you because you hold a contrary view to a happening in the country. Mm. But once we watch on, if party A leaves power and party A B can't, they also recruit and they also target others and we will be in a cycle. Okay. So it's high time journalists in this country should stop aligning themselves to political parties so that they can do their work mm. without fear or favor. Mm. Okay. Right. So there's a, a post I chanced on yesterday, uh, the man I call my manager, Rabi Al Hassan, he's a senior colleague, and he says thugs stormed the courts to release someone under trial. Mm -hmm. An investigative journalist killed, and it remains a cold case to date. A journalist has allegedly been tortured by state security, and no one has been held to account. Five citizens killed during elections. 
masked state security officials storm a polling station, fire gunshots during a by election. Guess where all these things happened? Ghana. Look, we are emboldening wrongdoers, feigning rule of law, and continuing in our partisan defense of the status quo. But know that when it blows up, it will consume all of us. And on this note, we take a break. When we return, we do an Osuusubempe's apology to celebrities for the write-up that he put on social media with respect to the Fix the Country protests. It's Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On Bistec, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On Bistec, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV.